Welcome back to Dice Dice Revolution, the 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons stream. I'm joined by Olivia, Hamish, Rain, Jordan, Stuart, and Devin. Uh, so, someone is going to do a board game recommendation today. I think there's only one person left. From memory. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> Who is this it? One. Oh, oh, it's who's, that who's, one. He's going to do it. Hi. I'm doing oh, it. Yeah, I'm great. Which is stooge. Like, I, I, yeah. I have been waiting with this recommendation for weeks. <laughs> I'm like, I've had it for months. I'm like, hmm, when is it my turn? But it is today. Well, um, last session, the party tended to some personal matters, doing some rest and recuperation That's after their first foray into uh, battle arena. Um, and in the midst of that, Solomon got a uh, runner. runner, a crazed individual claiming that his town was being windswept, literally, um, by and overrun by these gust methods of sorts. Um, you took your airship, flew out to this lo locale, and did your best to save as many people as you could with War of Life while also uh, dealing with the threats there, and after a harrowing encounter of sorts, took uh, took to just investigating the surrounding neighbourhood. So, for the, for the purposes of this of the starting this episode, you guys are still where you left combat off. Um, and if you so choose, you can choose to take a rest, a short or a long one, if you would like. But the session did end with. Um, all of those uh, gust methods being like kind of attracted to the central s spire uh, to, that has this kind of like lightning rod emerging out of it with a crack of lightning had struck down and all of the creatures that were attacking you with the exception of the uh, air elemental I was fuck up the pronunciation Myrmidian yeah Myrmidian um, was they were drawn to the spire so I leave it in your hands to tell me what you get up to so where were we last time we were? Like, you were on like the edge, not the edge, but like on one of the, on, I would say the east side of town. Um, and how far away is the temple, Thomas? Uh, it's about like a five to ten minute walk uh, at, like, at, like at, at a brisk pace. You can obviously take a slower time. It will probably take you a bit longer as you're pushing through uh, heavy winds at, at this point in time. And you, you'd want to like so, avoid debris flying out towards you. The little, the little um, air elementals, the little ones, they're gone, but the, the storm is still raging. Full speed, the so. storm is still raging, yes. Is it getting worse? It is. It has gotten worse over time, and you notice that as you had, like, off, a combination of you telling off the crew for firing at the temple and the winds getting, like, much worse, they have landed. The, your airship. Uh, like off close to the temple or far away? Oh, no, no. They, they, they like, backed away. Good, good, good. Oh, sorry for that one, gang, but I'm not... I ain't cool at shooting up a church. I mean, schools made of lofty morals. Can I pull Tywin aside and, um, uh, Have we Yeah, you've so all regrouped. Yeah. Yeah. For the purposes of starting this episode, we will say that you guys have all regrouped. And I think someone was dying. We fixed yeah, that. Trey was dying. Did we fix that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Remember a lot. Because we did a lot of healing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you sh if you want, so you have like essentially three three or four options here. You can just head straight to the spire. You can take a rest, a short rest, a long rest, or you can investigate around and see if you want to gather any other people up. Whatever you prefer. Time. Solomon's not going to like this. I have to see what at the source of the problem and what's going on there. I, if the rest of the group comes along, that's fine. But I'm going to run ahead. And teleport into the temple if I need to. Directly in. Do you know what's in there? I I want to scout out the problem. I can go invisible. I I'll, I'll try to be hidden. But I, if this is if we give it time and worse things happen, that's on us. Mm. Well, um, I'll take this, and I'm going to give him one of the sending stones. You have a sending um, stone link to Tilly. To nice. You can speak to me through that. Once a day. Let's do three times a day. Three times? Okay. I don't know. Check. Okay. <laughs> Someone check. Magic item. Did anything happen what? to me? Oh, I yeah, think I it's once. Yeah. 
You've got 40 HP. <laughs> I love the idea that Trey's, like, Trey's healing is just like, <laughs> all at once. Yeah. I think I put the healing into Lapis. You did? I'm, okay. Well, scouting is very important, and if you can go invisible, any of the rest of us would just hold you back, so. You want me to. Yeah, but not tell us the sending stone can be used once by dawn. Um, well, if I'm running ahead, he will ask, but I can't waste time to argue this. Go ahead, I'll handle it. In the Good minute. luck. Thanks. Mm-hmm. So, what are you doing? Yeah, I am. Um, I'm just going to run ahead and. Uh, as fast as I can, and if once I get. To... Are you going at like breakneck pace, like through the wind? Um... Like how fast do you want to go? Do you want to go at like a slow pace? Do you want to go like a, at like a regular pace? Do you want to go fast? What are you going to do? The cho- what you choose will decide like what sort of threats you. Naruto run. Yeah, relatively fast. Okay, make me a dexterity saving throw. Just I... easy DC. But I kind of forgot what I was. Okay, I forgot what I was concentrating on last, so it, that doesn't matter, but... Um, well, I, unless it's like a spell that lasts like an hour, I'll say that in your yeah, like recuperation, it'll probably, probably have faded anyway. I would have moved around and used the rest of my... Um, you did say that, yeah. You, like, last I, I think that's I what it keeps. So. Use yeah, my so last we'll... second level slot to cast Kinetic Jaunt to just speed myself up a bit. But that only lasts, what, one minute? Okay, just roll me a dexterity saving throw. Add five to that for, for your kinetic joint as well, okay, on top of whatever you get. I would have needed that. So that's 19, I think. Uh-huh. Um, you take, like, three points of um, piercing damage as, like, little bits of debris, like, flick through you and cut, cut and scrape you. Uh, but you just run straight towards this fire. Yeah, and, uh, well, um... Once I get close enough to it, I might teleport in. Okay, well to describe it, um, it's like this um, uh, kind of like uh, stone building that comes up, start, has like a wide base and comes up to an even wider top with um, a relatively sturdy central column to it. Mushroom. Similar, yeah, so, so, somewhere like that. Um, and yeah, it's made of this uh, like patchwork masonry of stone and etc. And you can see that there, like part way, part way up it, there seems to be like a massive metal like that's what I'm looking for. Like basically girder, like impaled like halfway through the building. Um, and right at the top of it is this like massive basically like grounding rod that also is tipped in like a um, wind vane that's like kind of like bent out of shape. Um, but yes, um, this is what you notice. So you're just teleporting into the building. Uh, does uh, well from the outside. Does it look like heavily guarded, or no. do I see activity? You can't see any guards outside of it. Okay. Um... Uh, make a perception check. Okay. I, I think that's a twenty. Unnatural, but I will check. Yeah. Okay. You see, like on this top landing, this kind of flattened out um, area. You see, there's one like humanoid individual just like walking the perimeter so there is like a wall like you can just see like a head crane over the wall they don't seem to notice you but you can definitely see them with your uh unnatural 20. and uh so it's like a it's like an hourglass shape of the building okay and that person is walking along sort of like a balcony on the other yeah like on the top floor okay yeah so up here and that goes around all around the top floor (laughs) um the top floor just seems to be open like there's no like roof over it I want to do that. Oh. I'm going to cast a dimension door and teleport behind that person. <laughs> Can I have something that represents you? Can I have something that represents you? I like that sentence. It's cute. It's a good character. business cards and anything I can cast. Find this person. And I want to. Uh, like want them to not notice me so i will, behind them yeah okay. so i will try to be quiet and if you want me to do a stealth check i can um sure wrong your stealth check okay everyone's um sees tree look up there <laughs> tree going <laughs> tree immediately go flying uh, the that blast away 17. okay it's a good thing it's so 
Get fucking wounded, bro. Hmm. <laughs> ah. Can those people inside see me? They're that's not inside. That's this not is, inside. This is all one landing. Oh, okay. It's one flat, like, non-roofed so, surface. Think of, like, a tower, like a castle tower. Uh-huh. And, like, the top just has crenellations around the outside. Wait, sorry, then... You can change what you wanted to do, um, with, with that knowledge. I'll, I'll give you that. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, I... yeah, then... Uh, then I'm just gonna teleport inside the building, maybe one floor down. I want to... It's just gonna be even worse. Probably. There's gonna be more but, dudes in there. So where do you go? Um, what are the floors under there? The floor. okay. like, yeah, so I you, want to be inside the building. Yeah, okay, so do you want to check uh, the Tealy miniature uh, like next to the pillar on first floor? Is that your final answer? Yeah. Do you lock that in? Okay. Yeah. So, you, so, okay. <laughs> so you take a sword out, you kind of rift through space into the building. But probably not in the center. I teleport like okay, yeah, just do you move, beside do you want to, to the end side wall. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Uh, so we have a stealth check of 17. If I see people, I will... There's no hang of myself. Depends. Yeah. <laughs> there seems to be no one in there. Okay. Yeah, um, so if I don't see people... But I did see people up top before I teleported it. Or at least that you one. You saw person. this individual here? Yeah. Yes. Then in that case... I don't know. Out, out right. of key Mission Impossible music plays. <laughs> <laughs> um, do I hear anything? So that's about the first floor. So <laughs> do I hear anything above or below me? Um, you hear. You hear nothing above you because, as I said, this is like an hourglass shaped building. Okay. So after the first floor, it just becomes thinner and thinner, spiraling staircases up to the top. And there's obviously like it's thick enough to hold like some storage cupboards for like a whole bunch of like different like, incenses and stuff like for rituals and stuff. But it's just a staircase straight up to this landing here. Um, so you can't hear anything above you. Below you, you can just hear like just like mutters. You can't make out words. Given the roaring winds around you, I would say you can just hear muttering, but not the. Specifics of what's being said. I'm gonna cast invisibility. Okay. And. Did you say? Are you up casting it? Um. I yeah. I have to. Okay. Because you don't have second level spell yeah, slots. I'm wasting all my spell slots. But, uh... <laughs> That's right. You've got a sending stone. Yeah. <laughs> Please help. <laughs> <laughs> so. And while I'm invisible, I'm not going to. Go down, but I'm going to sneak towards the staircase and just peek you know, what's going on down on the billo floor below me. Okay. Do you want to move uh, Tilly to uh, the ground floor, top of the staircase, so the furthest point away from me, on either side of the staircase? You can choose. No, like on the staircase. Yeah. Yes. Um, you see a cluster of three individuals. Um, they have kind of like these. Uh, basically like cloths over their head so you can't see their faces um, and they're like talking together in hushed tones making a perception check okay I got bad. seven okay uh, you hear broken uh, speech you hear um, return surface sacrifice storm Until I can, until I see some opportunity that like someone's isolated and isn't in sight of any other people, I'm just going to stay hidden passively and okay. just observe. Sure, do you want to re-roll me a stealth check with advantage? Okay. <laughs> 17 again. Wow, the Zac Efron movie. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> Endeavor.exe is not just one. They gave me a heart attack. <laughs> um, it's like my heart jumped with that. I'll just get three little boys out of this one. I don't have enough movies to represent them all. Can you chuck these three tokens just down by the like the front doorway, which is yeah, just yeah, three of them there. Thank you. 
So you, yeah, as they're mis conversation, one of them like you, like you get, yeah, and you can't make out what's being said, but one of them sighs, heads over to one like, one of the bookshelves, and just starts like heading towards. Let's see. Yeah, uh, yeah. So one of the tokens just starts heading towards the left staircase and up. Yeah, so just pick one of them, and then it starts going to the opposite side staircase from Tilly. Sorry, my bad. No, that's so good. Yeah. That also and it starts heading up. Um, what do you do? Uh, and this, uh, so this one's heading up, and there will be two people remaining mm -hmm. downstairs. Um. I'm gonna try to sneak what I'm gonna wait till they go up mm -hmm. and try to sneak past them and go down well no so if you have a look at the map there's two staircases that both go up and you're okay. on one side and they're on the other staircase so you, they won't uh, ever go past you okay then i'm just gonna go down on the side i'm in but... okay so like behind these two people um, sorry so so you're on the end of one staircase. Yeah. The one that's going upstairs is on the end of the other staircase. Both staircases lead to the same first level landing. Yeah, so I will go down to the first level and <laughs> maybe... For now, I'll just stay hidden, maybe behind the pillar or something. Ah, oh, so you just want to move Tilly to the pillar? Or what, wherever I see... Oh, to the good... ground floor. So, yeah. yeah, wherever I see is a good spot to hide. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then that black token vanishes out of sight as it heads upstairs. So you can just hand it back to me for now. Thank yeah. you. What are the rest of you up to? Solomon. Devon's decided Marcus is going to be how uh be conflicted about this, because I forgot what happened. So I'm gonna have to <laughs> Yeah, fair enough. Once um once Solomon has made sure that Trey isn't dying, uh, and the airship's not about to blow up the temple in the name of Taylor, um he has forged ahead briefly, not not like directly towards, but taking a sort of um, slow route that lets him check in on the local on the on the residents of the place. So you're just heading to the temple as well? Pretty much, yeah. And like it's it's uh, he's communicated, we must make haste. We cannot stop this from here. More lives will be at risk. Do you think we can handle it how we are now? I believe so. I don't know uh, about you, but I've got a lot of wounds. I can fix that in the time it takes to reach this temple. However, there are lives to be saved, Tywin. We cannot put our own before them. Just to double check, you, from what I remember, you said not to kill the clerics. We are meant to talk to them. Lapis, we come here under the name of Peor, the Lord of Light. That was the aid that is sought out. As such, this is not a mere intervention of the law, but of the clergy. If we are to take aggressive action against a church of another god, and we do so in Palor's name, the repercussions could be dire. I ask all of you here, please consider this before you take lethal action Don't look at me. against the suspected cultists. Everyone stay behind Solomon and make sure we don't do anything unless Solomon does so first. So no kill? If we do not punish them, then who? We will... Not these people of the town. Clearly not the god they revere. If not us, then who? We must assume that given they practice their faith within the dominion of this city, that the enforcement of this city see it fit to judge them based on their laws. Uh, Similarly, we must protect the citizens, but not persecute those who how, have committed the crime. How about this? Okay. So, I won't kill them. I'll talk to them. I'm assuming that's what you want us to do. You want us to talk to them, right? I do not necessarily urge negotiation. It would be preferential. However, this is not my strong suit and neither it is some of ours. That's fine. That's why I'm here, Solomon. So I will attempt to talk to them if you want. 
Indeed. If they attack me, She's I'll attack them. She's putting quotes around yeah, talk to them. Talk to them. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, don't talk talk to them. I don't know. I don't know how exactly talking to them is going to go out. But this, for someone, if they attack me, can I attack I, I back? Not, I can attack. I will not them. ask you not to defend yourself. But that I is, won't that kill them. Food. I, I merely ask them. that you do not. Can I render them unconscious or apprehend them? If. It comes to blows, then do as you must. I merely ask you, please do not. I will not kill them. I will. Uh, I will use the right word. This is definitely uh, apprehend them, render them unconscious. Very well. Vanta, do you understand what I say to you now? I acknowledge that you, you see these people must not go unpunished, but it is not within our right to deliver that punishment. Not as an envoy of another god. What I understand is that if the people, the law enforcement of this town, had the will or the ability to stop these madmen, perhaps they would have done it already. I do not doubt there are others that would come to our aid in fighting this force. However, we will bring them to justice. We will not deliver the justice. We must believe that the law will suffice, Vanta. We know Arathil to be a stern ruler. I am sure he will not let this go unpunished within his city. That is what your faith dictates. Indeed. I understand this may be difficult. I merely ask you at least give me the chance to entreat with. What was the name of that? God? Vokul. Let me offer a brief prayer of apology to Vokul before we desecrate his temple and his assail his servants. V O R K A L. Walkle. Mm -hmm. Like snorkel, but with a V. Yeah, exactly like that, then. Either way, this, I trust you will be wise in your judgment, Vanta. Do not let your prejudices sway you from it. We must make haste. Feel free to humor yourself if you wish. Your failure only proves my point. There's no other way to teach them. It was in my nature that I must try. Then you still have some things to learn. And that's, that, and that's Solomon. has had enough of listening to this gale and tries to storm off. <laughs> <laughs> storm off. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> This is not the time for debate. Uh, and as we, oh, as have we you know we... that I'm two years older than you. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> the right old age of 27. Lapis Solomon thinks gonna... he's 25. Lapis is going to go, alright. Um, Shit. <laughs> guess I'm going to the temple then. So the entire party starts heading towards yeah. the temple? And on the way... Oh, I don't have nothing actually, do I? I'm like uh, right behind. I'm using Solomon to like block the wind. Yeah. It's Solomon's happily yeah. just. Are you going at like a fast pace, a medium pace, or a um, slow pace? Solomon speed. Whatever Solomon. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'll very whoa. much so, just be like. Ugh. Um, I would like to. I don't know. Hold on, I'm just gonna get my character. I've got a. I'll cast um. Healing spirit, whichever one it is that lasts. It lasts for like ten or minutes. Or yeah, I think it's that one. It's the one that I can basically give out healing over time. So, you said this was about a five minute walk? Yeah. So, over that time... It'll so be shorter if you're going faster. So, uh, yeah. you decide the pace. Are you going faster, average or slower? Uh, let me just make sure that I know this duration. I'm pretty sure it's... A minute. A minute. So, roll 20 d6. Yeah, exactly. No, I'm just curious. Because I've said that I want to knock them unconscious. Say we get into combat. If it gets to the point where I kill them, can I make it so that they go unconscious instead of killing Yeah, you can just say you're yeah. attacking them non-lethally. Excellent. Over, over the time... It's I the think same as battle arena rules in that case, where you're just like attacking them, but not to kill them. We'll hurry then. Hurry? Um, hurry. Okay. And over you... that period, Solomon will cast the spell twice. 
twice. So yeah, do just do, divvy out the hitting yeah, there. I've, I've got to roll, roll 40 d6. No, right, right. Half of it will go to the people that we pass. <coughs> Is that satisfactory? Okay, sure. Yeah. You're not that lucky. You don't want to do it on D&D Beyond? No. Okay. That's fine. Do that you roll yours on D&D Beyond? No, I don't. I do you want to sure. do you want to divvy out the 20 d6 healing to who you see fit? Who's got what? Who's your? I want a third of my health. She's one below the maximum. <laughs> Thank you, Shay. Yeah. I'm like nine down. I'm, T-Y, T-Y, T-Y. I'm a little bit more than half. Lapis will write to say thank you, T.Y. Uh, kissing a movie. Wow, well, it was kind of shit. And, really and then one. send so it to you because the secretary. <laughs> really, oh, oh sorry, ones. wrong person. No, I was only so one of them. You have to name I had, I had 19. <laughs> Ah, right. So, new oh, I thought you had an ability that lets you reroll this. one of She's every like, twenty d sixes. I wish that'd be hilarious. Nah. Um. Okay. Um. Okay. Well, okay. while that healing is distributed out, yeah. Um. Back to. Oh, yeah, and Solomon so. will pull off his lantern. There's like a storm lantern, so he can hopefully. Oh, actually, on that note, um, I need. Are you just doing single file? Uh, presumably okay. sticking to cover and going down the streets, aren't we? Can I jump on Solomon's back? <laughs> if Solomon will allow you. Can I jump on your back just to avoid the funny wind? The wind I'm, is above Solomon's head. You will not be sheltered up there. He'll stand behind me. He, he just, you just okay. tuck it under the shield, I guess. Yeah, can, can I get, can I get uh, Solomon to make me a dexterity saving throw and everyone else to make this dexterity saving throw at advantage? Yes. As you hide behind Solomon as a windshield. He's good for uh, a billion. Yeah. <laughs> 20, 30 something. No, no, it's 20 something. Uh, 11. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, that's a 23. <laughs> you take no damage. Yeah. Because you can't take damage if you succeed on Dexterity Singular. Solomon, you take 5 points of oh, piercing. I haven't rolled it yet. Oh, well, Everyone's no, this is, da- this is damage before you're healing. This is as you start make trekking t- towards the spire. He's rolling his is dex it a dex save? save? Oh yes, dex save. Sorry, sorry. I don't take any damage. Solomon interposes his shield with it. I have evasion because of shield master. True. Ooh, nice. Okay. Well, what was yours? I'm in the building. Oh, true. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. What was yours? Uh, Twenty-eight or something. Twenty-eight. Okay. Two points of piercing. Twenty-five. Eleven. Uh, four points of piercing. Twenty-five. Uh, two points of piercing. As you're all roughly shielded, you can just hear this absolute hail of. Shards and gravel and shit just clink, 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 clink. Oh, but still hits Solomon. But You're just watching Lapis fucking Matrix that shit. She's just like, oh, <laughs> and then she like stops the debris yeah. and makes it go the other way. Pushes then... someone else in the way. <laughs> Steps conveniently out the way and it hits like. You see her um... grabbing random people, being like, oh, there is no people. Yeah, like oh, there is Solomon no people. You're grabbing the crow, you're like, and just start doing backflips and shit. She's like, Trey, look out and just <laughs> look out, Trey. <laughs> No. Why'd you walk into it, silly? I told you to watch out. <laughs> <laughs> so how much healing are you dishing out to him? I'm sorry, this was this was maths and all I only Why did you do all twenty d six instead of doing two two d six at a time? It was it was fifty nine hit points. Um, who gets divided one? ten I'm, ways? I'm trying to think who's actually taking damage. You haven't taken shit. You're not with me. You're I've on. Taken I, I can take all of that healing and still not be full health. And you're on what? Uh, I'm on forty five. So. Out of, out of cool. so you get half and you get half. That was what, 59 I said? Yeah. 59, cool. So you get 25, no, you get 25, you get the rest, which is 25 and 25. And 24. Right. Yeah. No, it's 25 and another 9, which is 30. 34. 34. Oh, right. you get 34 healing, you get 25. Ah, cool. Awesome. And then I'll do it again for the peasants. <laughs> Peasants. Hopefully Just, I, 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 you can roll it if you would like to. It's more fun. Yeah, yeah I'm, not gonna stop, I'm not going to stop you from having your fun. Thank you. But I will also say, like, you stabilize a whole bunch of people with your massive pools of healing. Should we take cool. a break whilst Stuart adds up another 20 dice? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I think my fun. Anyway. Tilly. Um, yes, throughout this time, have I heard anything more comprehensive from those two? Fun? Have I heard anything like more descriptive about what's going on? Um, they just seem to be like keeping guard from this side of the door, from the inside of the door. They didn't seem okay. to be talking at this moment. Um, at a certain point, um, uh, you hear like one of them go, "So, who's doing the outside patrol this time?" And then they kind of start being rock paper scissors in between themselves. Um. Fuck's sake. Okay, I'll go. Do you want to just move like one of the black tokens like out and like s- about a quarter of the way around like your to your side? Yeah, yeah. 
Um, so yeah, one walks out and just starts doing it. So um, when they walk out, can I try to sneak past and also walk out? Sure. Roll a. Roll a dexterity check. Check. Mm-hmm. Just a dexterity um, check. This is not necessarily stealth. This is just you like maneuvering and like going through the door as it closes. Done. Can't suck it. Can't suck it. Um, if you if you explain how you're gonna involve a- 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 acrobatics somehow, let it be acrobatics. It's it, essentially when the doors open and one walks out, uh-huh. I want to jump past, and try to sidestep and not touch either the door or the inside guard, mm-hmm. and also. How about do do me a favor? Roll me a d just a flat d twenty first. Just just roll me a flat okay. d twenty first. Eleven. Okay. Um. You notice that as the door gets open, because of the raging winds, the door gets like out, which means you can have advantage on your roll. Okay, I uh, still just dexterity. Yeah, I'll just, yeah. just keep it at dexterity, but you have advantage because the door outwards, giving you a bigger window. Uh, oh, wait, that's uh, twenty. Okay. No. You manage to you manage to yeah, like slink out as the as the guy goes fuck's sake and closes the door be- door behind you as you just manage to slink out. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I will follow the outside guard. Uh, and uh, it is is he just patrolling outside? Yeah, he's just like patrolling outside. Um, once he do you get... move Tilly behind like the guard, I guess then. Which one? The one that's on the outside. Okay. Once he gets to a spot where I think he's far enough that other people can't hear him, mm-hmm. I want to grapple him from behind and hold the melee into his neck as yeah. an attack. Roll a. Uh, athletics check at a advantage. Yeah. As you come out of stealth and surprise him. The idea that he's just... 17. Okay. He rolled a 7, so you managed to grapple him. What, what the fuck? The idea that he's walking um, out so and he feels something in his throat, and then the blade appears, and then he appears. So grapple is one attack, so I can still use my another attack. Yeah, you may. I don't want to actually cut him, but. Can I use one attack to just slightly um, pull Vermilion just enough to draw blood out of its neck? Sure. Yeah. And I'm going to tell him, stay quiet, answer my questions, and you will be you will come out of this alive. Mm-hmm. Does he do anything? He goes silent. Like he's still struggling, but he's not like talking at you. What are the clerics of Vorkal doing here? What's going on in this town? Why have you killed so many people? Roll D100. Okay. You get the right. divine intervention too? <laughs> yeah, it's safe. <laughs> um, 14? 14? I think. Is that... Oh, that's a 41. Oh, it's 41. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, 41. As the winds rage around you, you, a, a more localized breeze picks up around you, and you almost hear a voice, but it's the, but it's just the wind, and you hear, you, and you just hear this, shh, and then the guard, start, <laughs> as the I, wind gets pulled from his lungs. Shit. Okay. <laughs> I, I I let him go and um he, so he's dying. Yep. Grab the air and stuff it back into his <laughs> Yeah, do you know Gust? Get the gust <laughs> just, like, stuff it, just stuff it back down in his foot. Oh hmm. Again, can you see this? And it's and like the wind, the wind is Okay, but I have no clue what to do with this. Um, someone that doesn't breathe, trying to die, trying to bug fix someone that does. <laughs> What's wrong with him? He didn't make any sense. <clears throat> so he's broken. This is just a cantrip, but with druid craft, I can make a small wind, uh-huh. <laughs> and I try to interrupt. <laughs> The flow of air tra- getting out of the zone. So, like, explain to me what you're what drawing, like, 
What is your intent with Druid Craft? Are you trying to push the air back into yes. it? Yes, trying to counter basically the just countering the magical wind that's somehow okay. sucking air. Roll a... You're a bard, so roll a charisma check. Okay. A ten. With a cantrip, right? Mm-hmm. Um, you notice as you summon this like gust, just propelling, but then, but like the fickle nature of wind, it just kind of like diverts around your little like localized gust area and just continues sucking the air as long as it continues. Dying. Who's, who's doing this to you? Tell me, and I can stop them. This one. Well, I, I let him go. Crumples to the ground. Dead. <laughs> this interrogation's going well, keep it up. It is. <laughs> so, I'm going to, um, I guess, try to stay hidden outside the building. I'm now not invisible. And I will just message Tywin through the sending stone that um, I, I captured one and tried to speak to them, but. They seem to be under some enchantment that prevents them from talking about anything that's going on. <clears throat> Something suffocated the person I captured. Uh, I can respond to yes. that with the same yeah. thing, right? Yeah, okay. Um, It sounds pretty dangerous. We're, we're coming over there now. Make sure you don't get yourself killed. And I think that's it. I don't. That's the yeah, one that's, yeah, that's one use. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I guess I'll just stay hidden there. Hmm? Robbing the subject. Okay. Hmm, um, uh, 13. Hmm? Okay. Did you want to tell me the total of your healing? Even though we, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> it, was, it was 62. 62. <laughs> which was into, which was, what would I say? Not 20. Yeah, 20, which is, sorry, is 10 separate creatures, the so mm-hmm. most I can do, unfortunately. But they're feeling really good. <laughs> they're feeling really good. Yeah. Better than the other. This is, of course, assuming that random people from the town are evenly distributed so that we walk past one every six seconds. It's a 30 foot range. Worst comes to worst, I just give it to the same dude. It feels <laughs> really good. <laughs> um, after about four or five minutes of brisk jogging, basically, like the- yeah, you make it to the. Uh, back edge of the tower, so like the far, where, where Rain's laptop is, side of the tower. So if you'd like to arrange yourselves there in whatever <laughs> motley fashion. There's so much space up, bro. If I, when I see them coming, um, before they get too close to the tower, I'm going to try and sneak towards them. Settle down. Oh, wow. Fuck off, Tywin! <laughs> were we, oh, so oh, no, no, were we seen? Uh, actually, that's something. As we approach the uh, skyline of this tower, can we? Wait, see... you have a mini now? No, that's only a Vara mini. Oh, but yeah. I've had it on my TV for ages. I might use it. What's the difference between two roads? Eh? Um, what was I going to say? As we approach this thing, we can see this tower looming up, right? <laughs> Solomon isn't exactly trying to be sneaky about it, but if anyone else notices, it, then can we all see the figures on top that you mentioned? Yeah. Or? Yeah. I'd say with with the with uh, Tilly pointing them out to you and uh, your guys' average passive perceptions, yeah. they get pointed out. Can I just get a general stealth check regardless of whether you're stealthing or not? Oh, could have been in that twenty. That's a twenty-four. Could have been in that twenty. Is a twenty-four. <laughs> it's yeah, a seven. Thank you. Twenty-two. Twenty-one. Thirteen. The natural one. It's a three. <laughs> nice. no, not like this. Um, heavy armor again. One day it won't be a disappointment. <laughs> one day I will finish the, the upgrade of my armor. Manifesting, manifesting. Um. Okay. Well, you arrive at the tower. So yeah, on the way there, I'm just. Uh, I'm just. 
I've just briefed you guys over like and you see the unconscious the three floors. You can't ask them what's going on, or they just die. Fuck sakes! And I'm gonna have to think of something else then. <laughs> my plan was to be like, you know, talk them down, or at least know what's going on. But I guess I'm some not. sort of spirit has placed an enchantment on them. It speaks and whispers through the wind. Mm. When you try to get information out of any of them, it steals the breath from their lungs. Yes, and um, what? When we go in, I can use, if you want, I can use the last of my most, uh, I guess this my strongest magic to either teleport one of us, including me, to the highest floor where there seems to be the most of them gathered, or I can make myself and three of us invisible. Or we could say there's a get out of jail free card if we need it. Mm -hmm. That's true. I love it. Hmm. Is it still but, worth me trying? Sorry, I didn't mean to call you. Trying. I was well. I was gonna try and like talk them down or calm them down, just to at least get them to stop. But if this calming thing, them down should be safe. But if you try to get information out of them, it seems to kill them. I can try. I can try. I won't. Can I at least? Does it sound like I can at least ask them if they're all right or if like? They're the one causing this or something, or is it just any information at all? It seems to be information about mm -hmm. what they're doing and what's going on in this town, but I, I don't know to be specific. I imagine they didn't do much testing with. I simply asked mind. what they're doing, <clears throat> and maybe he tried to tell me, but he couldn't, and then something suffocated him. Can Solomon go over to the body of the one that Tealy's helped dispatch with the aid of the wind mm. um, and check what's on that person. Oh. Um, seems to be uh, in general like uh, started the start of leather guard um, seems to be uh, like a melee weapon um, didn't given the winds they didn't seem to have any ranged weapons on them um, are there any holy symbols or any religious um, insignia? There is like, um, kind of like on this on the shoulder, covered by the uh, uh, covered by their armor, like a um, sorry, a tattoo of uh, kind of like a vortex forming, like from this kind of like top down angle. Not nothing physical. No. Okay. Do I know what the holy symbol of Vorpal is? It's the... Is it the Vortex? Yes, like a physical. Re I know what a physical representation of it looks like. Yeah. Can I use my channel divinity um, and draw the studs out of their metal armor to make a holy symbol of Vorpal? Sure. Make that one off. Mm -hmm. So someone bends mm -hmm. down and offers a brief prayer. Go gently into the light. This storm will not see your soul the song. And as he does so, he's you know, creating a holy symbol of the different god. So as a... Uh, for, for my brain's image, mm -hmm. which is sucky, um, the, what, what's the room we're currently in? You're not in the room, we're outside. outside. We're outside the room? Okay. Yeah. Um, well, so what is the direct environment around us? Um, like? It's like... We're at the point where ranged attack rolls now just have disadvantage, mm -hmm. like for for more mechanical purposes. Um, uh, you're in this kind of like circular like um, area that's basically kitted out with um, now like ruined or closed down like shops, mm -hmm. and in the center like of this massive um, market square, there's basically this like stone tower with like a like an iron girder basically. Pitched through it. Does it look like it was meant to be there, or like it's been blown in by? The it's wind? been blown in by something else. Um, and you can see, like, uh, on the op it's so it starts like on the opposite side of like where Tilly is currently positioned, and goes through down to the bottom. Um, and you uh, see, like, there's like rubble falling out of it as the wind blows through, and um, the whole structure looks unsteady. The structure doesn't look unsteady, but the, but that one wall that's been pierced is like there's rubble like kind of like eroding off of it. 
Um, and the, around you, it's fairly uninhabited, like, like, like creatures and stuff. But yeah, the entire terrain is currently like constantly in flux due to the wind, due to the high winds. Um, but you find yourself like yeah, the, the actual environment is like a market square with like, this tower going up through it. Okay. Cool. If people still think it's a good idea, I can come up and talk. And but if that seems like it's not going to be an option, I can. I actually don't know what else to do, honestly. Well, this is Solomon's domain. I think it should be your call. I will attempt to entreat with these priests, but I fear, given the nature of this storm and the beings they have summoned, we will have to stop them by force. I ask, as I said, you do not kill any of the members of its another god's dominion, nor that we damage this structure any more than it already has been. I understand that that may be difficult for some of you. It's very hard for me, but I can try to knock off the vitals. Terribly. I also could use... How did you get her ahead of us? I... Run, I... Pretty sure I can run... And... Faster. Slightly. And, um... I did teleport in... Indeed. Once I got close enough. Indeed. Thank you for waiting for us before you... Engaged. I... I didn't think the odds would suit me, and whatever I do, I don't think I could change much, especially after seeing what happened. I simply wanted to get information. A wise choice to stay your hand. As it is, I fear we must enter this structure, stay close, and be aware. Once we are at the top, I do not doubt the winds will be at their strongest. Can I have the other black tokens inside, please? Yeah, you can I have it. Thank oh, you. you want it? Yes, thank you. Sorry, I thought you said to move them inside. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I, uh, you should go first. Yeah, so Solomon, Solomon goes around to the front of the building, mm-hmm. of this yeah. entrance, uh, and he'll kneel at the door of this church, mushroom church, um, takes out the holy symbol of Vorkul, and prays, and I beg you, Vorkul, great god of storms and thunder, grant us entry to your sanctum, let us assange the damage that is being done to your denizens in your name. Um, Thank you. <laughs> as you go to enter, you feel that the door's barred. Not not entering yet. Uh, do I do I have any sort of mystical connection from this holy symbol, or any distinct form of piss off? Get out of my house, like a poltergeist. <laughs> Um, as far as you can tell, no. I swear by Palos, name, I will seek to protect your acolytes from harm and your people from their wrath. Blessed be... And what? The, 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 the door's, door's barred door. from the inside? Yeah. Seems that it's just us. No, I see. <laughs> Fear not. not. Well, praying didn't work. Break? That's a big I surprise. Oh, you want to try pray? Yeah, see if, like, we're all listening. Sure, <laughs> call me a D100. She's just gonna be like, please let me in, I want to assist. Uh-oh. 100. No, that's a D8. That's a D8. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see this one? See, no. <laughs> Wait, I, that would be a lot easier than whatever I'm trying to do. Um, you just see the D10. Just in a D10? You need one more. Need need one more. Oh, two D10s, yeah. Oh, good question. You're just in my back pocket. Yeah, it must be Oh, because I might know it's even better. So I think I wanted to buy one, but I don't know if I ever got to it. Yeah, on the way here, That's pretty the background, good. I didn't see just like, Victor sniping out, trying to save people. Did? Yeah, well, no, actually, you wouldn't see <laughs> Victor from the side of time you're on, because he was dropped elsewhere. He was, like, airdropped in, basically. Like, like three-point Captain America landing, and he's like, <laughs> doom, 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 doom. <laughs> I'm Hi, I'm Victus. Hi, I'm Victus. That's all right. I, I, cause I bought a ram earlier. I was going to pull one out. Oh, we can get feel in. like yeah, we would get along. I'm, I'm cool, funny, and smart. Let me get <laughs> yeah. Um, Please let me. Yeah, not. I have brought my lot. You, you, you see, you see Lapis begin to pray, and you just see like her hair just start to stick up on her head as the <laughs> static shards around her. Ah, uh, Lapis, I urge you, maybe not in the storm. It is unwise to entreat the god of thunder in his own domain. 
He strikes me with lightning, I die instantly. <laughs> <laughs> if you draw a hundred, maybe. No, it's not. <laughs> Forgive me, Vorkul, for the action I take, it must be done. Rest Does the door seem locked or, like, magically? No, no, it just seems like a bar has, like, a wooden bar has been placed down. So, it's, yeah. Don't oh, worry, guys. No Don't worry, guys. I got this. <laughs> Can I cast Mage Hand and open it from the inside? I s- yeah, heavier yeah. than five pounds. And yeah, you have to see you cast Mage Hand. Then. No, uh, just a point you um, choose within range. Unfortunately, Mage Hand can't lift the bar. I'm going to uh, go to a wall that doesn't have more wall on the other side of it, um, and uh, and I will take a patch off of my uh, of my cloak and place it against the wall, and it extends out into a window uh-huh. that goes through to the other side. <laughs> okay, so, like an like an openable window. <laughs> yeah. Or right. or it's glass, and we just break the glass. I was not aware you could do that. Well, I, only once. I was told. That's the only one I got. I suppose it will save you see, me desecrating a temple. Thank you, Tywin. No problem. You've added to its architecture as you, as Tywin places this patch against the wall, and a window opens up. Hey, whenever God closes a window, a door, he opens a window. In right. Me. That's a religious saying, isn't it? <laughs> I have not read it in the scripture, but <laughs> if you have Tywin, I would Peace be overjoyed to think. Can I check? As part of my brain, can I ask Walker if I can climb up the tower? Or if we get mad? Or will that not count? Um, you feel just uh, like a static buzz, like you know, like when you touch a balloon mm-hmm. after. Yeah. I'm going to climb into the window. Okay. I'm going to stop going. <laughs> Does everyone do the same? Yeah, yeah I'm ready. Solomon absolutely does not. Please unbar the door for me, Tyler. <laughs> okay, someone help me open up this door. Oh, yeah. Going in. Is there anyone in? Yeah. Nope. No one inside. Oh, uh, yeah. The bar gets lifted off the door and you just walk in. <sighs> Solomon, once again, here's me, bless me, walk on, please. Hey. Steps through. I prayed to him and he answered. He answered you? He gave me you a have little... heard the words of God. He gave me a little shock. <laughs> <laughs> Do you touch Solomon? works in mysterious ways. I do not doubt you you will. I put Solomon. (laughs) (laughs) Indeed. What, is it like if the payload... You are blessed. If I I pray to payload, would it be like he puts a flashlight in my eyes? (laughs) 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 I hope hope you should try and find that one day, Lapis. I am sure it would do you well. You know what? I might actually give it a go. They were being religious, but I might, you know. And for that, I give you my blessing, and I'd like to cast bless on Wait. you, Trey, and Vanta. That sounds Hang healthy. on a minute, what? Is it, Lapis is like, I know, you, you just said you like God, huh? Is it plus four? Plus D4. Plus a D4. Yeah. Gotta keep it out, because otherwise I'm not gonna remember. So you have a plus D4 to every attack roll saving throw. And that's it. Yeah, attack roll and saving throw. Hmm. Maybe we'll just uh, ask the Three people thought bloody one blessed, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Three people. Yeah, I was like, can I climb the wall? <laughs> I tried that once, child. It did not work well. <laughs> I, I didn't no, want like, <laughs> walk to fucking kill me by being like, climbing like, <laughs> Trust me, I tried it once. Uh, my chicken almost killed me. Don't worry about it. <laughs> um, Maybe next time. Well, <laughs> Maybe next second time you've had to replace that battery. Yeah, the first one ran down immediately because we were using it while testing. Um, well, we you walk into this chamber, do you want to just arrange yourselves as you see fit? Uh, the brown, like, kind of strips are, like, window? bookshelves. Hmm? Where was your window? Uh, oh. just next to the door. <laughs> oh, okay, nice. Yeah, so the brown strips are, like, bookshelves, basically. What the hell? Vanta <laughs> <laughs> is just Brands. grabbing Lapis. Come on, <laughs> come on, Lapis, we're come gonna on. go kill some cultists. Why are you grabbing <laughs> onto me? What did I do? No joining this card. <laughs> But you make your way in and you see basically abandoned room. There's a statue of Vocal right at the back, labeled statue. Mm-hmm. Um, Is that on the ground floor or at the top of the staircases? No, so it's on the ground floor and then the staircase kind of like builds Go up around right at the top. It arcs up and over, yeah. Statue doesn't look like it's watching us suspiciously, does it? Make a perception check. Anyone who wants to can. Mm. Nice statue. For 16. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be watching you. Cool. Who the fuck is Perception? <laughs> just gonna trash the statue. I'm just looking at you funny. <laughs> Absolutely not about to desecrate the temple. Thank you very much. <laughs> My Perception statue is a good one. 
Maybe you just didn't see it. considerably wiser than mine. Thank you very much. Onward, and Solomon will ascend the staircase carefully. <laughs> Before I ascend the stairs, I kind of just like bow at the statue. And just head up with everybody else. Okay, so Solomon's in the front. Uh, who's behind Solomon? I'm right behind Solomon. Okay, who's behind Tywin? Yeah. There's a single fast staircase. I'll go behind you. Three? I'll, I'll huh? be lost. Two staircases. Yeah. Right, I'll be second Are you splitting up? <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> uh, I'll be last, so. Second last. So you're yeah, so four. So, <laughs> so order goes one, two, three. Then Tealy. Second last? Mm-hmm. Like yeah. that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you just start heading up the staircase. Um, uh, from the... With your perception check, from the uh, floor above you, you just hear these mutters. Fuck, fuck, they're coming. And you hear this kind of like, ding, 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 ding. And you see this tiny glass of bead just roll down to you. I want to catch it. I'm going to instinctively just like roll into cover mm-hmm. in some sort of way. Everyone to make me dexterity saves. It is a good thing. Oh. It is a good day to be it is a, a ba- lapis. It's it a bad best. day to be a lapis. That's a nine. Plus trait. <clears throat> no, she's not. Got, she hasn't got plus trait. No, too Given the position, uh, only Tealy and I have yeah, plus trait. So only Tealy has plus trait. Plus five to saving throws. <laughs> you don't have a plus five to saving throws. You're not considered Trace friend. Oh, not yet. So with a plus five, I rolled a thirty. Still. <laughs> a thirty. It's yes. literally been what, like two to three days. <laughs> okay, right. so. Uh, 23. 30? 16. 20. I use evasion. I go 9. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay, cool. I pick up the bead. It's a good nade. <laughs> you <laughs> try to eat it. <laughs> mm, that sounds funny. Oh, Is a bar engraved into it? Ooh, yeah, bar. Now who could that be? You know when you get it back. Okay. But you don't break Um, you take 9 points of lightning damage. Uh, what was your roll? 12. Uh, 17 points of lightning damage. 9 points of lightning damage. 16. Uh... <laughs> Nine points of lightning damage. Solomon poof, grounds his shield. No lightning damage. And no. nine points of lightning damage. I That's use a vision. Cool. Yeah, so nine points of lightning damage. Um, as this bead, like, start, cracks start forming around it, and then, like, little zaps of lightning start shooting out. <laughs> and then you just see, like, footsteps running up the stairs. Come back, you fools! Running up, so away from us? Yes, away from you, up the stairs. Up is down, dumbass. Which way is north? <laughs> down. Um, but yes. Solomon right. keep leading the way, but I they know we're here. Uh, I, we approached in the middle of the street. I do not doubt they saw us. I have, unfortunately, this resistance was expected. Once again, onwards! And straight back up the stairs. Trey, can you move into the middle just in case, please? You want me to push everyone else out the way? Well, yeah, I think it's I mean, just landing. Yeah. Just landing. It's I am yeah. pushing people out. The way. <laughs> you just and so you're putting yourself where? I will. I will move into the middle. Is that happy? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's good. Which doesn't matter. Which keeps everyone that's getting the bonus anyway within ten feet and then Vanta out. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Perfect. Here we are, Vanta racists. To the second floor. Um. Yeah. You just you keep tracking up. Uh, you meet no resistance on the first floor. And as you continue spiraling up the thinner and thinner parts of the staircase, you eventually come to the iron girder, which is wedged through the building. Mm-hmm. And you, you, yeah, you, there's a bit of like ducking and weaving or like stepping over it that you have to do like a bit of maneuvering. But again, you're just taking your time to making your way through um, as you go through this like thinner part of the, the, the building. And as you make your way to the top, you come to this. Uh, no, actually, you wouldn't. No, no one recognizes it. But like, yeah, there's this wooden hatch that like lifts outwards, which, like, based on your perception of this building, is like here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is it? Does it look hard, or we can't tell from this side? Oh, you can't tell from this side. But it was absolutely waiting for us to go. Mm-hmm. Maybe we should try knocking. <laughs> Ask politely to enter. Mm-hmm. Solomon That's walks up to it. <laughs> doof, doof, doof. It just swings open, like, on the first... No. In the name of... Oh, very well. Proceed with caution. He'd like to stick his head up. This guy is... Out of it. You know. 
forward with his shield. It just, it just pops up and it's just like the top of a shield, this little tin head, and then like a lantern that's... Uh-huh. Wow. Uh, can I get all six miniatures? Take them over. Would you want to actually fit the map around so that it's close to you guys instead of close to me? Because I... Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. pretty wise. Probably should have done this. I'm not going to touch now, that microphone. I'm too scared. Go for it. Actually, do you want to cut to a break before going on combat? Yeah, yeah, we'll cut yeah. to a break. Yeah. Okay, we'll be back very soon. See you then. See Bye. Bye. Bye.
Welcome back. Um, as uh, we continue our assault on the uh, cleric town, <laughs> this process particular string of words to uh, get Stuart back into Solomon mode. <laughs> Let me just desecrate this temple real quick. <laughs> Your voice cracks so many times. I know. <laughs> um, alas, you find yourselves breaking through to the uh, top landing of this tower, and. Stuart has now decided Stuart, to go fill up Stuart water. Is not <laughs> Stuart has now decided to go fill up his water mm-hmm. after our break, Hydration. where George was working on his home computer stuff. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Just don't read into it. Hydration is key, everybody. Considering this is a mission, I'll put that... up his name tag only. Just <laughs> be uploading Solomon. Give me a snake or my mouse person. No, I apologize. Considering you're helming this mission and you're in the lead of the line, what are you doing? I'm helming this mission. I'm, I'm, I'm just here as the like faithful representative, you know. The one who got. I got a lot of orders for not helming the mission. <laughs> Did you guys keep asking me how to do shit for once instead of you just shooting people? It's fantastic <laughs> and terrifying. Solomon was literally built to serve. That's all we do. Well, what can we see? You see this visage in front of you. Uh, with a central, with, with that pillar representing like kind of like the lightning rod that juts out and up. Um, the the brown uh, kind of squibbles they represent like difficult terrain where like debris has co- uh, collided or um, uh, like pieces of the floor are just like kind of sunken in. So that's difficult terrain. You see two of those gust methods kind of like flickering about, and you see these clerics. Um, well, cleric-like figures uh, chanting uh, in primordial. I don't know primordial. Do you know primordial? Orin, yes. I know primordial. And yeah. You know primordial? Yeah. You know primordial? Does anyone here else know primordial? I don't think I do. Let's fucking go. Okay. Um, Oh, I do. Okay. Well, the Auron gang and the Primordial gang, you can hear them speak. Uh, Grant us ascension. Grant us weightlessness. Let us mingle with the wind and return to you, our Lord. Do I know who they're speaking to relative to that spirit I, I heard whispering to me before? So here's the... Can I get the three of you to roll insight? Sorry. Uh, three of us, the people are those... The people who actually yeah. speak the language. Yeah, speak the language. What wisdom? Insight. 13? 18? 17? <clears throat> so I have given you the spark notes of what's being said, but they're in this deep religious chant. What did you roll? 18. Uh, 13. 13. 17. Well, so what was after weightlessness? Like, just a spark note, what was before we turn to Lord, but after weightlessness? Um, I have legitimately... Let us mingle with the wind. Yeah, let us mingle with the wind. <laughs> Lost track. Um, but, the two of you, Thierry, you're, you're too focused on the words themselves, but the two of you, in all of this kind of, like, fucking religious chant, they have never mentioned the word vocal once. I'm gonna look at Shane. I'll give a look of like. Just gonna lift up my hair and give a look of like. Ooh. Um. Solomon booms out in the name of Paylor! I don't think we should be doing that right now. Solomon, I don't think this is a vocal thing. They're not saying anything about vocal. I'm sure it is. Far oh, more complex than that, Trey. You do not expect me to believe that these are not priests of this temple. They talk about the Lord turning to the wind. Furthermore, with, the wind. with your religious kind, because you you are more of an investigator. You and you will have you have investigative roots. You also know about the divine side of things vaguely, mm. like vocal. While yes, associated with the wind, is much more associated with storms and thunder and lightning. And would you praise him in Auron? Or no. 
um, he's not prayed to an Oren at all. Um, worship of Vorkul is usually done in common or sylvan, um, sometimes in, uh, the word lose me. French. <laughs> yeah. yeah, French. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Mon Dieu. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the third language is spoken by. I'm, no, I'm only like a complete mental blank. By Morgan Freeman. By <laughs> Morgan Freeman. Um, what, what are we talking? Like humanoid race, plane, out of plane. Ah, uh, yes, thank you. It's uh, and sometimes uh, deep speech. <laughs> okay. How are those idiots even ever seen a storm? Right. Yet yeah, Solomon, they they're using Orin here. This isn't a language that for call. It could be tricked. I there was a spirit I heard whispering. Mm-hmm. Do they have any of Vorkul's sigil dream? Make a perception check. Is there you can too. And so can you. Is there any other... <gasps> no, uh, let's go, Devin. Is there any mm. other religion that I can think of or like any sort of deity that comes to mind more associated with wind than vocal? Okay, well, you know, it's, instead of rolling a perception check, you can roll me a religion check. Or a history check. You can choose. Uh, because you're an avid reader, so maybe you came across this in a book. In your perception. 25. Okay. Mm. What's your total okay. after the natural 20? Uh, perception. Well, uh, 22. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So what's your history? I, I got a 9. On history or religion? Uh, religion. Religion? Okay. Unfortunately, nothing comes to mind. Yeah. Uh, with your natural 20, and you're 25, um, none of them seem to have... Uh, actually, no. The black token, uh, on the far end, he... It's, what's the black token versus the person next to him? Um, the... Uh, Okay, so the black token seems to be this, like, similar to the guy that uh, died. Um, this kind of, like, uh, studded leather clad, like, um, uh, so- somewhat somewhat warrior type uh, individual. Uh, and he seems to be kind of just standing there, unmoving. Um, the other four, they don't really have much in the way of, like, armor. But they have like these kind of cloaks and robes that just billow in the wind, and um, or maybe there's actual wind. <laughs> what? Um, with this way. And you see that the one that stands next to the black token uh, seems to have like a shoulder, like a hand on his shoulder, and is just glancing towards you. Can. So the black token is the only one here who has like a peaking insignia of vocal. Very well. Solomon would like to boom out to the Vesiro priest next to him. In the, na- in the name of Paylor, I demand you cease this. And on, on the word cease, you hear his voice, normally loud for sure, but this time it takes on like an overtone. You can almost hear that one word just ring back in your, in your minds. As I cast command on yeah, that, let's on go. that boy over there. There was something I wanted to on, whisper to Troy on the on the priest before hmm? on the follow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which was I was going to. What save is this? Uh, Should we sure. tread carefully before we, you know? Uh, twenty-one. Yeah, it doesn't matter now. It does nothing. <laughs> um, she looks at you with a uh, curious glance. I think not. And she kind of just gestures her hand and just swipes in the air. Can you make me a strength saving throw? I can do those. I'm relatively good at them. Plus five. It's a... Maths is really hard, isn't it? Uh, it's a 22. Okay. You succeed. You feel this gust, like really powerful gale of air, barrage you and you just stand your ground as it tries to push you off the building. And plants his feet. Uh, with that, we shall roll initiative. Can I have a question? I apologize yes, for taking the time to try and talk to you. They're all going to understand how it looks for me. I went kind of like buddies, but from a different model, you know. Abandoned. Yeah. No, I do not, sorry. Okay. 
That's fine. Why do you ask? What have you done to yourself? I don't know. Just my hand's bleeding, but that's okay. You should just colour it in. Do not colour it as in. You, by the way, as you just before you do that, I whisper to Andrew Trey, and as you back to him, just like, uh, uh, mm. Oh, you can still whisper something to Trey. I was going to whisper something to Trey. Um, doesn't matter now. Because I was going to yeah. be like, should we like tread carefully before we do anything? And so I was just like, mm. Let me just get up, sorry. Um, you know how you can, like with, with other stabilization rules, um, you normally just make a medicine check to leave them at zero but not dying. <laughs> but with ours, it takes a bit more, right? Well, yeah, but your medicine checks have um, a different... No, but it's, it's like a different effect. So if I want... I'm well, wondering... There's, if... there's literally an item which is... It's like a healer's kit where you, you stabilise someone with the use of it, so... Yeah. Um, I mean, say I want to stop one of these guys dying. Like, we've taken them down or they've taken one of their own down. Um, I understand that I can't just stabilise them with an action. Um, but can I use... Actually, no. So, you know how there's like a different like roll table for an action and a bonus action? Yeah. That you can stabilize them to just not be dying with a on, on the action table. Yeah, but it still... It doesn't actually like stabilize them if I pass. It just adds something to their roll, doesn't it? If you roll... If you roll a high enough medicine check, you can just stabilize them outright on, if you take your action to do so. Oh! Yes. I did, so, yes. The, on, the, on the table... Because this is not like something your characters overtly know, yeah. so I haven't given it to you. But on the act, I'll tell you this for free now because you're at a high, high enough level. If you take an action to medicine check someone mm -hmm. and roll sufficiently high enough, you can just stabilize them to zero. Okay, that's that's the sort of thing. Yeah, that's what I was used to with them. But okay, that's good because it was either that or I was going to ask if I could use magical healing to restore them to hit points but not wake them up. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, we have to roll initiative, don't we? Okay. I knew that. With that, can I get initiative from Tywin? 22. <clears throat> 22. Yeah. Trey? Uh, 17. 17. Tilly? 16. 16. Nice, guys. Uh, Solomon 5. So, two. Oh. Ooh. Lapis. 21. Holy oh. shit, guys. So, <laughs> I rolled a 13. Yay. Everyone's above a 10. I rolled yes. a 14 and I'm like, hmm. Stop, Stop smiling like that. Seven. Smiling like that. 21. <laughs> <laughs> I want to watch Solomon hit the booty. Don't want to just notice these guys are at most 30 feet away from us so she can just two of them. Um, okay. I do need some help. <laughs> You're fine, aren't you? I'm not like half health. Oh, I failed every single save on the way here. You hit the gritty on the way up the stairs. How much did you I lose gotta, before? I gotta tell Solomon's was, banging for I'm not like half health now. Oh, oh, Jesus, you should be getting absolutely what? I didn't really, I'm sorry. And you just oh, I was on my health when you were giving out the healing. <laughs> just on the way, I just failed every save and got absolutely beaten up by environmental okay. hazard. So, uh, initiative starts off Again, with uh, Tywin. Uh, Lapis, Trey, Tilly, Solomon, and fuck these priests, Vanta. Wait. They did roll freaking well. Uh, all, yeah. all four of the priests are just right priests as one. So I forgot what class is Vanta again? Um, Clerical. Clerical. <laughs> <laughs> she was definitely an acolyte. Super religious. Definitely not channeling magic through her blood or anything. Um, I forgot what class she was. I forgot. Then it will be the uh, guard. Uh, and then the gust methods. Okay. And with that, we kick off with Tywin. Okay. Um, I am going to 
so whom is the blue token? Ah, uh, those are the gust methods. The one, same things you fought earlier. The little like gusts of wind that knocked you around and stuff. Okay, so they're like little floating. Yeah. And so the people were you would know they don't have like, a lot of health. Yeah. They're a little hard to hit though. Uh, the and the people are people. Yes. Okay. Um, I'm going to move uh, to within thirty feet of the the guy who's furthest from where I currently am. So the guy the nearest to you. Mm-hmm. Yep. So yeah, just there. Yeah, yeah there, there is fine. Um, and I'll just be holding out my um, scimitar, and I'll just um, go. We're gonna have to stop you now. And I'll point the scimitar towards this person. And as I do, there's like a, a sort of line uh, along the stone, almost like something's buried uh, yeah. buried in the stone, mm-hmm. going along the ground. Um, and then some rats will emerge from the stone and be biting at the feet of that uh, that person. Can they make a constitution saving throw? Is this a spell? Yes, this is infestation. Natural twenty. Okay, then it doesn't then it doesn't do anything. They'll just they'll just avoid that. Um, then I'll in fact I'll just use the rest of my movement to actually get like up up to them completely up to them. Please, um, someone. Yeah, and. Uh, and uh, I guess I'll hunters mark them as well. Sure. Just, just to Sounds good. That's the uh, other time. With that, Lapis. Just to double check, do these people look hostile? Or are they yes. just like... Um, They've got angry eyes. Yeah. Um, the black back. token just looks blank. Like, mm. there's a blank stare on his face and it's just like kind of like slumped forwards. Ooh, sorry. Uh, you know what? I'm going to do the same as Tywin and like pick somebody to... Funny, but... Will this be my action if I go here? No, nah, it's a movement. I just, I'm not going to attack. I just want to be like, look, I really, look, I just want to talk. I just want to know what's going on. And are you doing this? That's all I want to know. Um, roll a persuasion check. Let's go, go, let's go. Persuade. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I love it. They haven't even reset the laptop. It still says Power Hills High School. Uh, unnatural twenty. Uh, okay. <laughs> yes, we will free him, and there is nothing you can do to stop it. I don't. I don't know who that is. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Is that my turn or is there a okay. bonus action? You can inside the boy. So if you want to start in the next round. You bite inside? You know that one where you can just be like, oh, I see how you fight. And then you get free time. Can I do that? Sure. Yeah. Roll an inside check. Uh, 13. Uh, we're 11. So, you have free sneak attack from here on out against that one person. Oh, yo, let's go. <laughs> Alright, that's my turn. Lovely. Uh, that brings us up to... Yeah, hi. Yeah. Um... I don't know what I'm doing. I will... No. <laughs> I won't do that. We're covering all bases. Huh? Sorry, no matter. Does... Are any of these? Yeah, please. Formal etiquette around here. So does this one look like the leader of um, the four? Or... She seemed to speak, but there is... Of all four of them, they seem to wear like the same garb. No one wears something fancier than the others. Yeah. They all seem to be working in... Uh, concordance. Alright. Uh, Solomon, I'm just going to try and get more information about what's going on here because I don't think this is what we think it is. And I am going to go this way, turn to this way. Stop drawing up a suspect sketch. <laughs> so, what, can you <laughs> describe to me what this person looks like? Oh, well. Beware, I fear they will not give it to you willingly. In Orin, I'll go 
who is the deity that you wish to return to? Uh, roll a persuasion check. Uh, gonna bonus action channel divinity. Oh, I can't. I used it last last session. But you have more than one use. No, that's if I want to uh, get spells back. But I only have one. Do you have more? That's cool. Yeah, I got, I got shitloads of Yeah, good for you. I've got one. I'm sorry, I didn't realize. <laughs> My paladins have the same. Uh, unnatural 20. Okay. Um. Uh. Shall we be eager to tell more about God? She looks at you and kind of locks eyes with you, trying to figure you out. Um, and then just and then shakes her head and just continues chanting what she was to f- maintain concentration or whatever she's working on. Okay. Um, that's most probably all I'm going to do. Uh-huh. Uh huh. For right now. Okay. So Tilly will be next. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, so it looks like they're all focusing on the pillar in the center or something? Uh, yes. And what's going on with the pillar? The pillar is like flickering and buzzing with electricity. Right. Uh, for now, um... False priests, you enslave them to die for you. The weight of your actions have caught up now and I will cast Bane. Mm-hmm. Like on um, these three priests. Okay. So charisma saves for them. The one on the left. What's your save DC? Sixteen. Fails. The one in the the far end succeeds, and the one on the right fails. In each arc. Uh, this coin under that one, and this coin under the one the, or the one that you're fighting. Um, they are being. Oh I'm I'm uh, Can I, with my bonus action, do some sort of thing to figure out what's going on with the pillar? <coughs> sure, make me an arcana check. Oh, that's probably bad. Um, 12. Um, you know. You're not sure of, like, what exactly is going on, but you knew that all the ghast methods that you fought earlier were all, like, statically attracted to this lightning rod, basically, that juts into the sky. And it seems to be more and more charged as time goes on. And that's what you can discern with your bonus action. They're doing something and, to the- I mean, it, this is not even, like, something you roll for. It's pretty common sense that don't be near it if it discharges. Especially if you're made of metal. Yeah. The, and they're, <laughs> they're charging the pillar with power somehow. Try to break their concentrations. You hear that, Stuart? And, um, Sounds like a strategy. Just give them a hug when it discharges. Yes. <laughs> and uh, I will run up to the guard and the priest on that side. This one? Yeah. Guy down here, 22. I think 30 is there. But, uh, can I go one square forward? So, uh, here? Yeah. Yep, there. Okay. Yeah, that's Lovely. Lovely. In any time? Yeah. Solomon 5. Um, Solomon will just boom out to everyone. It is imperative that we stop this ritual to protect the populace. Bring them to heal, but make sure it does not continue. He will stride up here, up to this priest. Mm-hmm. Um, does the guard respond as I approach? Nope. The priest still got his hand on his shoulder? Yeah. Some will muscle his way past the guard and try and grab the priest. They can um, make a grab. Check. Make a grab. They will try to resist you at disadvantage. At disadvantage? Because it's docile, so it's not going to like... No, no, not the guard, the priest. Oh, the priest, sorry. Uh, then that's just my roll. Okay. I got a 20. Uh, it fails. Cool. So, so you Solomon, grab Solomon grabs onto it, and then with the same with the same movement, you see him just kick out his own shield and bop into its legs, and we'll try and shove it prone as well. 
which is pretty Why am I rolling now? Uh, the same. It's exactly the same. I'll use Tealy's Inspiration. Uh, which is a... Yeah, finally. Uh, what is that? 11, 12, 14, 13? She does not go prone, but you still have a grapple. Very well. And she rolls a 19. That's my uh, turn. That is your turn. As you, uh, uh, as you barrel up to her, try to grab her, succeed successfully, and try to trip her, she does not trip. Um, that brings us to Vanta. Yes. <laughs> How far can I move? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh yeah, we got the top of the stairs. <laughs> um... There's two people with bad saving throws right there. There is two people with bad saving Not throws. Not just imagine. Four. I am considering it. Yes, I think I might actually. Um, I would like to twin spell an innovation against the two boys who are hurting. Yeah, do you still have fifth levels? Hmm? Do you still have fifth level soft loss? Nice. I used to inflict wounds before. True, true. So, what am I rolling against you? Uh, hang on. Dex saves. Five sorcery points, and they are making dex saves, yes. The one on the left? What's your saving? Okay, no. 17. Never mind. Uh, she, on her dex save, rolls a negative one. Ooh. Oh, yeah, wow. that's nice. Uh, and then the one on the right rolls a. With a minus D four, uh, rolls a eighteen. An eighteen. Yeah. Oh, boo. Yeah, fair enough. In that case, the on a forward save, they take two D eight. No, on a successful save, sorry. Uh, so that one takes fourteen necrotic damage. So a successful one. Yeah, the successful one takes 14. Uh-huh. Uh, the unsuccessful one takes 48. So that's the one next to Trey. Uh, yes. Which is uh, 16, 22, 25. Okay, so 14 and 25. Yes. And the, uh, what's the other, there's another effect for failing innovation, right? Uh, yeah, I'm tethered to them and continue sucking them. <laughs> Well, you see these kind of sickly tethers reach out from Vanta into the ground and into these two clerics. Hilarious. Um, is that the end of the time? For now. Um, the... Uh, the top cleric, the one furthest away from you, will. Wait, actually, still. Let's see if she can do that. She might arc slightly and cast a lightning bolt straight through Solomon and Trey. You're gonna hit that guard next to her? Uh, no, she's gonna like because she can just angle it straight down through. Yeah. She she won't hit the guard from where from where she's angling it. Is it, is it a one foot or a five foot line? It's a five foot line, I believe, lightning bolt. Yeah, but she's not. So, if she goes from... I mean, feel free to argue against, but if she goes from here and goes this way, through these two. So, can I get dexterity saves from both of you? Oof, ouch. Actually, do any of these four priests look anything like the two me and Tywin were chasing? Uh, no. Okay. That's concerning. <laughs> uh, 13. 28. <laughs> I remembered bless. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that ended, because I only lasted for a minute and we walked up a lot of stairs. Oh, well, oh, then... Up. 26. <laughs> you cast it at the ground floor, didn't you? It's not a whole minute to get up. Was it a minute to go upstairs? Um, oh, it doesn't matter. 
I would say yeah. Like I'm recovering from the the motion of energy as well. Twenty six. Okay, uh, fifteen points of light damage. Thirty points of light damage. Damn. Um, with that, uh, she doesn't have much for the bonus actions at the moment. Well, just one, two, three. Uh, the one on the left will. Uh, she drops content. She drops what she's concentrating on for just a brief moment, and. Uh, Test, max burn test. You can't Four. hear yeah, anything except like chapping. Like a minute ago. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, to recap for people what happened, uh, a lightning bolt was cast through Solomon and Trey, and then one of the other clerics cast Dominate Person on Trey, uh, gesturing to Solomon and saying, deal with him. Um, that brings us to the one on the far right. Uh, she will um, Yeah, she is going to uh cast thunder. Can I make you get you to make a constitution saving throw? Watch this one. Perish. If you're gonna up cast them as well. What do you want me to do with them? Constitution saving throw. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, well, this one you can't evade. Better not be in that one. No, mm -hmm. give me a two instead. <laughs> hey, it was it wasn't it wasn't a one. <laughs> Just in case you're playing a half -link. I want this one crushed into dust. Please. Um. Okay, so that is twenty-seven points of damage. Ouchie. Very painful. Flying backwards. Yeah, you also go fly flying back three squares, uh, into so towards the pillar. No, another square, please. Thank you. Ah, very painful. As you go. Extinct. Yeah, she just she kind of like gestures and goes. Oh. Um, <laughs> oh, I see how it is now. I wasn't and gonna kill you, but I guess I'm gonna have to make a change of plans. I don't have my fingers in the bag. The other, and then this one here will circle around to the opposite side of town. Oh no. And cast on the way as well. At uh, high strength spelling it, so at disadvantage. Can you make a constitution saving throw? Mm -hmm. I'm starting to think these guys might not be clerics. What? What? What gives that impression right now? Twelve. I mean, I'm a cleric and I can hide and spare. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's fair enough. Okay, you understand. <laughs> there you go, brethren. There you go. Uh, that is 20 points of damage, mm -hmm. uh, thunder, and you go flying 15 feet backwards. Mm -hmm. uh, can I get you to make me a dexterity saving throw? You sure can. Fly wing. Mm -hmm. Fly wing. I am theoretically good at them. Um, 27. You managed to just 
barely <laughs> grab onto the lip of the of the building as you go flying over the this kind of like really shitty barricade. Mm. Motherfucker stole my idea. Mm. Mm. And you go flying back. Um, that brings us to the guard. Good. The guard. Um, as she cast lightning bolt, her hand came off uh, the guard anyway. Oh, sorry. Do you remember how much damage you just did to me? 20. Uh, twenty. Twenty. Okay. I'm just making my con <laughs> saving throw. All good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Her hand comes off the guard, and um, whatever effect was on the guard drops, and um, he just calls out. You monster! You sanctify our Lord's name as he goes to slash at the uh, at the bitch up north. Damn! <laughs> what Lapis a is me. The bitch up north. Track. <laughs> bitch up north. That's just her name on the road. But she's stitched the bitch up north. <laughs> it's, it's like one of those paddles are like Comic Con. was like, hi, I'm bitch up north. Uh, for a seventeen. She could be one like five two. <laughs> As his weapon zaps with lightning, which unfortunately does nothing. Oops. But the bludgeoning does. As he lays into this woman twice, with both connecting, actually. Good job, guard. That brings us to the gust methods. Mm-hmm. Um, you see uh, all four of these clerics. Clerics call, um, speak in unison, and they say, and they, as they as they continue speaking, and they're just like, um, become one for our Lord, for us all. And you see those gust methods go straight into the into the tower. And have those two token spins, and you see the the lightning rod crackle with just a faint more, a faint bit more electricity. Gus Methods are extinct now. Let's continue to bring your touch. At the top of the round, can I get a d10 from you, please? No, from me? A d10? A d10. No, no, not the second. No. Yeah. I forgot what this was. Oh, this is how many appear on the babies. So one of them is a concentrated three. Three. whatever it is. is right? Yes, she's still chanting, but she isn't concentrating on it. So, um, we got more Blah, blah, there. blah. Take us back. This is trade. Can, can I just get three like, of these scattered as you see fit? So it's like kill the people <laughs> killing us or destroy the power being channeled into the. Yeah. the two main um, can I get just control. everyone to roll me a vague arcana check, please? What's it mean? Oh, <laughs> like that in nine. I don't know. That one. Ooh. You're not having a good time with this yeah. fucking lightning rod thing. Yeah. Four. Very, very small. 17. 11. 6. 17. Uh, you're the only one who picks up on this then, uh, in which case. Um, the lightning rod is off kilter. And at first you think this is just, you know, part of the storm, like, you know, knocking it about and stuff. But then you notice it's like pointed directly at like kind of like the iris of the, of the storm building above you. Yeah, that's right, motherfuckers. It's a Marvel movie. We're getting a sky beam. This, this reminds me quite perilously of that. Was it? A, what did we call it? The, the thing in the center of the city last time? Big statue. The big statue. What was it before it was a statue? Was it it like, was a party float. Mm-hmm. No, big crystal. It's a crystal golem? What did we call it? Colossus. Crystalline Colossus. Yeah, I thought it was Colossus, yeah. but I wasn't sure. This reminds me of the Colossus the aircraft used. I believe it is charging something to be directed there. But I don't say all this because I'm holding someone. Right. Okay. We go to the top of the round. The top. Okay. Um, with a climbing speed, it's not too difficult for me to just pull myself back up. Uh, I would say just like a low DC, but roll me a strength check as the winds are tumbling you about. God. Strength check? Athletics. Yeah. You can do it. Athletics. You can do it. athletics. If, you, if, you're, if you're proficient in athletics. Okay, I am. Ten. Uh huh. Okay. Are uh, you managed to climb up? Alright. Um, can you just put me around like diagonally in the back of the person I'm fighting? Uh-huh. 
Yeah, so just two more squares towards me. That way. Yeah, perfect. Because he doesn't want to knock off again. You're going to go yeah. kick him off Fair again. Um, and I'm going to uh, try to strike this with person with my scimitar. Uh-huh. Where the fuck is my scimitar? There it is. Do you activate any of the jewels? Uh, yes. Uh, Do I, the lightning one. Do I am saying, no, 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 I'm saying uh, topaz, uh-huh. which I believe is radiant. Uh-huh. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so, so Blessed be. Um, 14, does that hit? Uh, 14 does not hit. Okay, okay. striking again. Mm-hmm. Uh, 24. Definitely hits. Okay. Probably some motherfucking damage. And the hunter's marked, so it's mm-hmm. extra damage. Hunter's marked, okay. Uh, he hasn't taken any damage. So, um, so that is eight points of radiant damage. Mm-hmm. Um, I just sort of like take out the scimitar and I just go like, apparently we're not supposed to kill you. And then I stab them in the gut <laughs> and it, and it <laughs> shines with this apparently. radiant light as it like bursts out with like it burns slightly their skin with radiant burning. And I go, but I can make it hurt and pull it out again. Uh-huh. And then while they're sort of distracted by that, a dagger materializes in my other hand and I stab them from the other side. Mm-hmm. Well, I love the idea of summoning Nibaro's dagger from your backpack. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I love doing. Uh, does a 27 hit? Definitely hits. Okay. It's not going to be much damage, but it is it all out of damage at least. And you get Philosopher Slayer. And Philosopher Slayer, that's right. That's why I did it. <laughs> so yes. there's actually, there might be more damage. Uh, 11 points of damage. Good shit. Uh, anything else I need to do at all? No, that's all my stuff. That's everything okay, I can do. That means Slappers. Mm. Uh, As you can thunder waved across this, uh, <gasps> Landing. I get up. Probably time to fuck her up now, I reckon, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, that's what she's gonna do. She's gonna say, I'm not gonna kill you, but clearly, clearly, you, start, clearly you started something. <laughs> she, <laughs> <that> hears <laughs> my line and steals it. Yeah, 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 had gonna, and then everyone starts uh, cheering for Lapis. Actually, <laughs> I actually had something similar in my head beforehand. But yeah, I'd like to come over and. Attack? Yeah, sneak attack. Yeah, yeah go for it. Actually, no, I'm sneaking back. I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to yeah. very angrily come you know, out. Like, usually when you sneak attack someone, you don't want to announce, Sneak attack! Sneak attack! I can just imagine Lapis, like, getting What's tumbled head over heels, getting back up and stalking back towards 22. You. Hits. Mm-hmm. So roll me a d8 plus 5d6 plus 3. The person I was fighting wasn't concentrating on anything, right? Uh, actually, they were, yes. Yeah, no, no. They got hit twice. Ooh. They got concentration. Natural one. Sick. Oh, cool. like Alright, hold on. I'm gonna need to and do some more. <laughs> so I got the other guy. I can't see what the last step is. Times 15, 20, 29. 35. 35. Okay. Okay. Do you wanna attack again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this was a dagger? Yeah. Oh? Does that count because it means going Sure, here? it counts. It, if it lands on the table, it counts. Oh, mm, that's great. I was, gonna, <laughs> I, well, I was actually meant to ask, is, yeah, does it not count because <laughs> it's yeah. meant to go in here? Okay, okay. This is the, so it would have been a big Devon moment. <laughs> well, <laughs> cool. Be this has moment. been a really good round for me. <laughs> um, first off... You did 35 you points did of damage, damage. come on! Uh, no, I have to do yeah. good on both of them, otherwise it doesn't count. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, so you want me to take back that 35 damage because it doesn't count? That's a 12. No, it doesn't. Do you want me to take that back that 35 damage? Yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> um, that brings us to... Well, but I do actually want to whisper that after I've like, hit him with the short sword. Be like, I don't want to kill you, but oh. I'm not exactly going to go down with that. Oh, well. Stolen from me. Oh. Yeah. Oh, well. Oh, no. Well, you're all double What are you going to do, Trent? Okay. Kill someone. I can't know. I see how far he is away from me. Uh huh. I look back at the, the. Whoever the hell this person is. She's your best friend. And then Orin, I'll go ask and it shall be done. I pull out the kernel controller and cast haste on myself. <laughs> Wait a minute. This is, awesome. <laughs> this is awesome. You see uh, Trey pull out this uh, this pocket watch and flick the yeah flick the flick the minute hand and it starts spinning faster and faster as she accelerates uh, and doubles in speed. You have a plus two to AC, an extra action, an advantage on dexterity saving throws. Okay. Are you so... actually taking that damage? Because that'd be really no no no. Good. Okay, good. <laughs> no, I'm not actually going to do that. That'll be such a dick move. 
Did that one still concentrate after that? Just jabbed it. Oh yes, sorry, my bad. Thank you for reminding me. Yes, that one maintains concentration with a 19. Let's slap a bonus. Action smite. Second level. Which I believe is going to be that. And then, I'm going to sling. Because I have to. <laughs> so you're just laying out all the dice. Do it. You get I'm four attacks, don't you, with haste? Well, my action was to cast haste. Yeah. All oh, right. So I just well, get next the one. Next round, yes. Next round. Really I just get the one. Where do you get four from? No, it, extra it'll... attack. Two attacks per action. Three attacks. No, it, it's only one. She gets it's one. Oh, that's right. Yeah, uh, he specifies. Okay. Yeah, that's right. It's not going to hit. It's a 17. I'm really sorry if we're doing Sullivan, who is avidly trying to wrestle this priest, just all of a sudden is this <laughs> What the? You see sparks fly like as this heavy fucking sword collides with Solomon's armor. Wait, oh yeah, you're talking Solomon. Like, because he recognized that she's been charmed of some sort. Yeah. I mean, I mean yeah, there's not much other motivation for Trey to come attack well, someone. It doesn't, I mean, it doesn't no. look like what you'd normally yeah, there's see. Yeah, there's a few genuine reasons that Trey might be hitting on someone on her side, but... Hitting on someone? Oh, oh. oh. That's not what I said, thank you very much. Solomon, oh. I just want to hear more about Taylor. He doesn't understand. <laughs> oh my god, Trey's voice? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, I will extract this juicy paylor lore in the only way I know how. <laughs> what are you Get ready doing for a spicy paylor? episode of Dice Dice Revolution, baby. What are you doing, Stapaylor? In the name of paylor. Um, That's all I can do, so that is my turn. Okay. Oh. Well. Tilly? That was just Tilly. Oh, yeah, you would have also seen this. <laughs> Well, completely unrelated, but can I put my hand on the god's shoulder uh -huh. and say... So, tell me about this <laughs> This is where this is going now. Bormen, <laughs> Darwin looks back and sees everyone making out with them. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Today we've reached the dating sim. <laughs> Speaking of which... That was just dead I was just standing there crying. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to cover own eyes that are already covered. <laughs> Those who attempt to control you will feel your wrath, and I will give the NPC a bardic inspiration for like the third time. Yeah. And, What's the bardic inspiration die? Uh, I'll just do one now. I've got plenty of fucking dice. Yeah, it's a D8. D8, okay, cool. Um, and I will. So, do I notice that Trey has been charmed by that priest? <laughs> yeah. Like, so again. So yeah, I'm going to run to that priest. I might take some opportunity suck. attacks. Okay. How um, how much can you move? Uh, um, Thirty actually. How far is it? 10, 15, 20, uh, that would have run out. Twenty-five, thirty <laughs> would be going? there. Uh, okay. Um, in that case, so I could if you want me to go <laughs> and put you back, I can do that. Okay. Uh, can I do one attack against the priest Solomon's holding? Yeah. Let's see when I go here. Yeah. Uh, 18. Uh, hit. Okay. Um, 14 piercing damage. 14 piercing? And that will now give me enough speed to run to the other priest. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Perfect. Uh, as you as you head off. <laughs> wait, is Solomon... that is that kinetic jaw or? No, if I Mobile take flourish. an attack. Oh, ah, yeah. yeah, yeah. If uh, I take an attack, and my speed increases. You use the like sword that. to pull yourself. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're like. <laughs> as you as you it's, piss off, Solomon just booms out. Like a oh, vault with I'll them. deal with this one. Either get rid of one of the others, or please get Trey off me. That's what I'm trying to do, and I will um, attack that priest now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you just gonna um, start? I'm gonna be in front of them. Okay. Are you gonna start like running around and punching other? You're leaders? just being yes. in difficult terrain. Yeah. Oh, do I take any opportunity to attacks there? Um. Yes, you do actually. Um. But she's gonna save a reaction. Okay. Um, oh, 28. Hits. Roll me some damage. Um, and I will do a, um, the mobile flourish. Wait, this is more me being curious. What feature makes it so that if you take an attack action, you run faster? Um, it just 
So, you know, a bard thing? It's a swords bard thing. Okay. It, it says it under the blade flourish, but in every flourish, it just says when you take the action, uh, attack action on your turn, your speed increases by 10. So I don't actually need to use a flourish. Okay. Um, yeah, so that is... Wait, I'll roll the normal damage first. 16, uh -huh. and then so plus 4, so 20, and they will move 4 feet back, so that doesn't actually knock them off. So four? that should four, round so to 5 feet, I guess. Yeah, we'll yeah 1 five. square. Uh -huh. They make a concentration and check. It's very specific. Success. Yep, and I can use my reaction to move back up to them. Okay. And... Yeah, that's pretty much everything. I use my bonus action to give the Bardic Inspiration. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's Solomon the Fison. Solomon <laughs> looks around at the tray. <coughs> I trust you will wear this out yourself. Please bear with me. And then to Vanta. Um, if, if I'm needed, I trust you will get my attention. And then... If you have any more kind words to say to these folk, I suggest you keep them to yourself. Quite the opposite. And Solomon fell to silence <laughs> <laughs> on himself at this like all right at that location. Um, their spell ends if they were casting one. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's the end of my turn. I'm, so she's not casting a spell. She's midst a ritual which she can just which she has to maintain concentration. This is like the other one. This is like, we, we, yeah, yeah, I can't remember this. We had another ritual where they were like, they'd already cast it, they were just holding on to it. Does a ritual require if the words that they're mouthing? One of them needs to be able to speak. Oh, okay. yeah. mm. Yes, four, four of them doing it just accelerates the process. Did you, did you attack the person who was using the dominate person? Yeah. yeah. Did we do the yes. Yes. Yeah. We've only, we've only, the only one left is, well, her. Uh, I thought, I thought she's she maintaining. Yeah, so I, the one who's maintaining concentration, is and the one at the top is currently interrupted by silence. Okay. The one uh, at the bottom has been interrupted. Yeah, and the other yeah, one cast on Yes. So currently, uh, the only the one, the only person on the right is maintaining concentration. I'll take I'll take care of him. Good. And I don't think okay. I have a bonus action. Oh, uh, um, actually, I'll fuck on that. You can't silence on yourself, right? Uh, no, it's it's in an area. So oh, yeah. I'm just gonna say it's like that little spot where I am there. It's, it's a twenty foot thing, so I'll say on the black token. Uh -huh. Um anything else? Uh no, I can't think of what I'm saying. Okay, Um well, since the guy next to Tealy is still under the effects of innovation, just use my action to continue damage. Yes. <laughs> continue Yoink. stealing health. Um, Do they ever break out? Like, get a chance to break out of it or no? No. Nah. They need to move more than 60 feet away oh. from me. Oh. Or um, get behind full cover. Okay. Otherwise, I just <laughs> I just keep healing. Okay. They jump off the building. So, too. Yeah, that, that yeah. would save him. Um, I mean, like... But yeah, that's, that's 16 damage. I mean, given damage. how dangerously... Like, this is like not even mitigating even knowing the animation spell, but like, given how dangerously close to some of the edge they are, they're just considering casting fly on themselves and fucking off into the air. Um... And we're back to full health. Yeah. <laughs> nice. How much nice. did you do? I, How much damage was that? Sorry, I missed that. That was 16. Sweet. I feel for like 30. He's <laughs> <laughs> lost two rounds. Do they, Wait, uh, do they have to Can't save. Success. Is another 10. Cool. Um, In that case, I'm going to... How much damage did you do? 16. 16. 16, right. I'm going to use two sorcery points um, and a fourth level spell slot to cast Blight on him. On the one on the left? Jesus on the one on the left. So Jesus that's a con save. Natural 20. Minus d4. Minus d4. Minus d4. Mm -hmm. Which, if it's a four, will fail. <laughs> it's a one. 19. <sighs> 19 plus 2, so 21 on the save. Oof. It's not what you want. Um, how much is that? Did Blight just miss? Or is no, it it's half. half of 88. Good. Uh, so that's 6, 14, 19. 
Uh, 23, 27, 20, 31, uh, 37 half is 18. Okay. So ABC times C. Success. I'll just leave this D4 here. I'm going to remember it. Okay, um, I'd same. appreciate it if you didn't make my companions fight. I need them. Are you minusing the bane from the concentration checks as well? Yes. Okay. Um. I'm going to do something, but I can't because the rules of the research really wouldn't work. You don't know that. I do. You don't? Unarmed strike is a boss dude, so I'd have to go really well. Would be funny if you smack them in the face. I just want to punch them in the head. <laughs> but I can't. <laughs> just do <laughs> Fuck it, I'll do it anyway. Just do uh, was the radius in silence? 20 feet. Yeah. So it'll go out to just before Vanta. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Choose time. Have you done anything else? Uh, no, I have already done an action and a bonus action. Um, she <coughs> will take, like, arc around four that way, the f- one furthest away from me. Not that one. Yeah. Nope, she can't move. She no, grapple. Grapple, great. Um, she Contest. will... Uh, the Solomon Snuggle. Right. Um, That's why Trace is attacking She's jealous. Jealousy. Oh my god. I'm so humble to myself. How dare you? With a pretty good roll, 21. Oh, she beats it. Yeah, <gasps> she breaks out of the grapple with her action. Oh, boy. And moves four that way. So I'm four four that way. six that way. That way? Yeah, and like around the edge. Does the guard take an opportunity? Yeah. And do you too? Yeah, honestly. <laughs> And he misses as well. So, but, and he can't even add his inspiration to it. Just like hanging out with the, huh? the Gus with him. Um, uh, she will. Knowing that you will catch up to her. Uh, Don't worry, I got it. Uh, she will misty step behind the one, the one to the right. Ooh, that's you somewhere, Devon, like there. Yeah. Whatever. Good evening. Um, yeah. Hello. One, two. Three, I two, can't two. move it. Yeah, yeah that's okay. Way, so. One, two, three, four, five. Can you move it one more square down towards me, Devon? The one that just moved. Yeah, thank you. Ah, lovely. Um, that's the end of that turn. Uh, Cultures B. My friend. Mm-hmm. Best friend. Mm-hmm. She will. Yeah, considering she's on the edge, she will take an opportunity to attack and just fly straight up. Wow. So, do, yeah, you can just use those risers. Um, you're no longer dominated. Yeah, she would shoot up the dominate on you, willingly. Okay. Just to get away and continue the ritual. Oh, that's a 22. Ah, uh, hits. Um, 10 damage. Um, 10 damage. Okay. Uh, she rolled a concentration check for flag. Success. Cool. Um, 10 damage. Okay. And then... Okay. She will... Around with some sorcery points with a bonus section. Uh, the one on the far right. Fuck him up, Lapos. That's not punted. Solomon speaking. She gets punted in the head, it's not done. We'll cast lightning bolt through Lapis and Tyler. No. What? Yeah. That's not fair. Watch, watch, Lapis. Let's just step out the way. Make sure you're saving throw from the two of you. Tyler, watch out! <laughs> she literally ju- just shoves him in front, like, look out! 24. 24. 17. 17. Uh, both of you fail. What? 24? Uh, sorry, no, 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 24, 16, sorry. Jesus! I was like, what's going on? <laughs> sorry, I'm so sorry. Are you Asian? So I, I, had... I didn't hear the word 20, I heard the word 4. Oh, which okay. I know you're physically incapable of. Yes. <laughs> but like... What about a evasion? Yes, yeah, so you will also take half damage. Oh. She will back foot out the way. Ten. Tyler, watch out. <laughs> Five. 
get a version at some point? No. no. Level 15. Do I? You get the option to, you know how you cho chose to escape the horde? Uh -huh. You get another set of options oh, and I? one of them is evasion at oh, level wow. 15. Hmm. Assuming I'll even have 15 ranger levels. Yeah. Oh, we're not going to get up to that level anyway. Um, <laughs> okay, so both of you take half damage, which is uh, 21. <laughs> how you doing, 21? Yeah. Lapis is down. Oh, down? Right. what? Yeah, well, yeah, she's she's what with evasion. What else did you hit? She's on 20 health. Uh, Thunder Wave, high up fast Thunder Wave. Yeah, she's on 20 health. She's down. Oh, so why didn't I heal like you? I did heal her. Okay, I was on <laughs> and like, then <laughs> I was on like 56 out of 57. Yeah, and then Thunder Wave would have okay, been healed. Doing So many things going into the thing that yeah yeah when one of the USB things falters sometimes yeah. the other ones mm. do. Uh, so you watch as this uh, lightning bolt, even though you evade some of it, it sh charges through you <laughs> and yeah leaves. Lapis, I thought you were hand. Oh, She's fuck. like face down, dead. <laughs> dead. Dying. Oh my god. I want her and Family Guy like the um, where they fall down. Yeah. Uh, okay. Cool. And bring this to the open sun. And she will. Uh, she will, with her action, re up the ritual so that two of them are concentrating on it. With her bonus action, quicken spell shock and grasp onto you. Um, Devin, which square were you on? Were you on this one or that one? Uh, the one diagonal, I believe. This one? Yeah. yeah. How are you what armor are you wearing? Who? Hmm? What armor are you wearing? Solomon's breastplate. Oh, yeah, ah, Solomon's lovely. Breastplate. Advantage on the attack roll. Yeah. Natural 20. Oh. Great. Yeah, great. <laughs> Can I? Do you want to do something before so that, Tilly? I could silver revolves, but then I would need. To, uh, I'll silver revolves. Yes. You silver revolves? Yeah. Didn't you yes. use your reaction to move up to the dude after you pushed him back? True. Mm. That's all oh, you did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. Mm -hmm. You're secretly happy that I have to waste spell slots on me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to use the spell slot to heal the lapis. Uh, I can, I can. 25 can. points of health. Out. Oh, yes. down? Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. Um, well, that makes things easy first. because she was doing that to make sure that you couldn't take reactions, but now she doesn't okay. have to move away from yeah, you. I can't okay. take reactions now. I can get to <laughs> okay. You get to tie Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, but she will still uh, go. One, two. Yeah, she'll go four. Um, Devin, do you move up? Four towards the blue token. As they get me down, I just. No, no, this is the one that. Two, three, four. Yep, and then, uh, and then uh, one up. One up, Ru? Yeah. As they get me down, I just spit. Oh. Coward. Trying to do mm -hmm. this every day, Devin. Get knocked out. <laughs> Excuse <Help> me? <laughs> you know, when you see Family Guy, how they like fall over. Um, just trying to replicate that. Right, so that's all of yeah, them. You're boys. making a meme right now. That's all of them, again, boys. Um, what's the guard doing? Uh, the guard... Can he make it to either of the he, two down there with 30 he, feet of movement? He can run, but he can't make it to them. No. Wait, do we move diagonally in this? Yeah, you mm -hmm. can move Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Um... Just throw his sword. No, he has a dagger that he might throw, actually. Um, he will throw it at the one concentrating. He does have brain cell when not charm. Um, hits. A range attack still at disadvantage. Oh, true. Yeah, thank you. Sorry. It still hits. Good thing. Uh, D4 plus 3. Fine. Anyway, so P4 5 points of damage and she makes a concentration check and maintains. Um, okay. That brings us to. <laughs> are, we, are they in Gus Methods getting. Yeah. 
Thank you. Mm, yeah, they're gonna up. Now look at what we've done. Wait, I can't grab that. Uh, Devin, can I get that blue chicken? Thank you. Oh, still Thank you. We'll hold on to these for now. Uh, Rain, can I get a D8, my friend? Ooh. You should really roll an eight. One. Yeah. Oh, nice. Wow. Woo! Oh, well, this lands where it says. There it, it lands in difficult terrain. Whoa. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's actually very good. Uh, that brings us to Tyler's turn. Oh, awesome. no. <laughs> Well, death save. Get, get ready my to lucky roll a death save. Yeah. My lucky die. Yeah. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah. Emphasis. Fail. Mm. Now you can roll, Devin. You should just be in that one. That's oh, that's oh, that's so many! Devin gets up and gets the sign, someone! Yeah! Get up! You're on one health. Up. <laughs> on one health. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Queen's on the head. She's got like black eyes and she's like... You Lapis's think? hair, for once, is sticking straight up from the fucking jolt, okay. <laughs> and you can see her eyes. Her eyes. Yeah. <laughs> she's very angry. Her eyes look very mad. Flickers from... open in she anger. Gets... I get up. Uh huh. Do you want to not get yourself up? I get she does up the whole like. <laughs> I, I get up. Again. Again. She just sets to me. This she's is just angry. this is just practice for your next battle arena fight, yeah. which is actually against a, a squad of lightning dudes. Oh. You'll be well versed for them. So that's my turn? Oh, no, you can no, you, you have you, an you action. You have your entire turn, haven't you? You have your entire turn. Alright, I'm gonna... It's half your movement. Y'all know I'm about to do a sneak attack. Yeah, you are. Yeah. Well, yeah, you are. Um, no, I wanted that to fail because I wanted out of anger for her to punch him in the head. And like, you, can punch, you can still punch him. You can still punch him in the head. Uh, so a d8 plus 5, d6 plus 3? You can still punch him in the head, It's just funny because I've got head, minus dear. one strength. <laughs> Here we go. Three. Really cool. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Yes. Yeah. Lovely. She will make a concentration check DC ten. Yeah. Success. Mm. But twenty-one wait, points wait. of damage is a hefty amount of damage. No, I was know what I should do with that. Was the gold one concentrate? It was the one behind her that was concentrate. No, no, no. no she was gold concentrating. Ones she hasn't had the opportunity to oh. concentrate yet because she's been trying to run away from you. Good. Bonus action? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh. Second um, All right, I'm going to unarmed strike melee attack, yes. punch in the head for a 14. Nah, I'm missing. Oh, oh. But no, no, like, you can still say you hit it, it just doesn't have the impact behind it. I know. Well, she's like a minus one strength, so she's like, uh, and it's just like weak. It's like how I, she I flavor attacks, they always hit Solomon, it's just, yeah, why bother? Yeah, they can hit Solomon. Uh, that brings us to Trey. Okay. Well, with one less person to, for now, heal. I the dominant person drops on you. Have I, like... will, I will deal with the, spe- the cleric spell. You may dispatch them as you wish, or help time. Oh, yeah, speaking of which, I've dropped silence. Huh? Well, uh, are you dead? No, well, I'm not dead, but... I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Solomon. 5, 10, 50. Oh, sorry. Is that Does really? She... Hang on. Did I yeah, cut this wrong? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, still 30. No, still I don't. I casted Thunderous Smite. That's oh, a concentration true. spell. True. Then, then you're paralyzed, right? Then you're paralyzed. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that shit. Well, there you go. I can't do shit. <laughs> you probably didn't even know you were hasted. You were kind of like... Yeah. Did it on probably couldn't have even gotten those attacks off. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> I, love how, I love how you That's really an in favor reason nice. as to why they miss them. Well, there you go. I love that you worry about like, oh no, but if I get, if I haste myself, then I might lose concentration and lose a turn. And now you've done it. I totally um, have not, like, oh, my brain's not with it. No, it's okay. Well, you spend a turn paralyzed. So, well, not paralyzed, but like, so uh, gives you a brief pat. Yeah, Tilly, you're up. Are you feeling more yourself? I'm sorry. I'm... <laughs> Fair enough. Like... I will do it with you. Hmm. I'm just kind of looking back right now. Sorry! Kill people! I do want what Tywin I would want. Die. Yeah, <laughs> literally. <laughs> Is it what Tilly would want, though? What would Tywin do? What would Tywin do? <laughs> WWTD. Tywin yeah. cast Dominate Person on me from the dead. <laughs> <laughs> um, Nemesis. 
Make, make them attack. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you my other soul. <laughs> No, I'm gonna Nemesis, I'm dying. Time. Make one of these idiots avenge me. <laughs> <laughs> what can you do? What? I oh can God, cast that's it so at first level. If, if he dies, he, Nemesis is going to be transferred like a fucking plague. You should avenge Tywin. Oh my God, go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to sleep. Yeah, I'm going to cast Healing Word on Tywin. That's the biggest mistake you've ever made. <laughs> <laughs> you wake up to just scream at me. I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to waste it. Sparrow, I'm just going to waste the hell if you give me. What the fuck? I'm gonna run in there and immediately get stabbed by someone. But it's ahead. better than you fucking dying, I guess. No, it isn't. No. Jordan It'd be so interesting if I died. Jordan <laughs> craves death. I can't get that. It's... Well, don't worry, we're getting to that. It's just like Tywin's <laughs> just thinking, we, we, we have spring signal well, a, few, a few of them have their fifth level spell slots still That's Tywin's, Awesome. That's just Tywin's fucking <laughs> enemy. Aim them at me! 17. Come on, Seven. Barry! Still one of my favorites. It's just and that Tywin's was my fifth level. Time is to just that was fifth level? Yeah, I could have Jesus Christ! Or first. Right. <laughs> Undoubtedly. How much health? 17. 17. 17? Nice. Ooh. Good shit. Uh, who's, anything else on your turn, Um, That was only a bonus action as well, which is terrifying. Yeah. Throw vermilion at the flying one. You throw vermilion at the flying one. I, I don't okay. want vermilion to fall off the building. You would have allowed that to happen. No, I'm practice. Yeah. Um, Can vermilion float? No. But are we sure? Yeah. <laughs> have we tested it? Have we tested it? I mean, technically everything can float, but it's just like missing the earth. How hard would you have to throw vermilion to get it into a geostationary <laughs> orbit? Should run two kilometers per second. It's the same thing as like if you're right at the right spot from like a black hole, you can see the back of your head because the light just travels around. I can use that opportunity to. Uh, yeah, I'll use my short bow and um, shoot at the flying boy. That's a little tiny disadvantage. disadvantage. Because of the strong wind. Ah, uh, yes. That's why I've been that using the sword. Yeah, but I can't use my sword. Um, so here's the thing they have there's a trade-off between them flying if they fly they obviously like avoid you to some degree but then they also have to constantly make concentration checks yeah to and also can't concentrate yeah. on doing cultist things no but they also have to concentrate on the fly well yes yeah. too. okay disadvantage ah oh, shit that was a 20 oh. <laughs> um 17 uh hits should have used okay. silvery barbs could have given yourself advantage yeah, they... No, you didn't. Wait, yeah, I didn't use it. Wait, who did I silver bobs? No one. Uh, six. Six points of damage? Yep. Uh, who was this one? Uh, the flying boy. With this advantage? Nice. Yeah. Uh, no, that's six points of damage. Huh? No, no, I know, I know. Yeah. So no, I was just surprised you rolled a 17 with disadvantage. Yeah, my modifier's pretty Yeah, good. I saw that just then. I was like, fuck. <laughs> um, okay. Cool. Do you have uh, one more attack? Um, do they roll or concentration? Are they still flying? Yes. Damn it. Um, I think I might use my other attack on the um, elemental thingy. Method? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This one again. Um, even if they're on the ground? Yes. It's you're shooting through strong winds. It's the oh, same as trying to like shoot someone underwater. Yeah. Um, that's again a seventeen. Ah, uh, hits. Okay. So no, against the method, no, misses. Sorry. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, they have like... Oh, they have an arm plus 18. Uh, they're too quick. They're too fast, they're too windy. Unfortunately. They knew. Yeah. They knew. Okay, I guess that's it, but I'm trying to figure out how I would get to this flying boy. Jump. Jump? Fly? Yeah. <laughs> I can't fly. Aww. I'm chicken. You can't, I'm chicken. <laughs> you can't uh, fly. Yeah, how far up are they? Uh, 30 feet up. I could do something that's completely overkill, but... Dimension <laughs> door. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't actually do that anymore. Misty step yeah. to them. But yeah, um, that's my turn. I've used everything. Okay, nice. Uh, who is next? Solomon 5. Wait, where's the main gun drop? Yeah. Well, so Tywin is alive. Mm -hmm. Kray is feeling a bit better. Are you alright, Captain? Uh, what happened? I believe you are enchanted. Unfortunately, these things, if you may call them priests, pose a significant danger. They're not priests. Either way, we must stop this ritual and prevent further loss of life. 
to about a fact, and he starts striding over. Uh, three, two, three, two, five. Let's go there. Enough of this <coughs> nonsense chanting. And with my last second level spell, I'll cast silence again. This time targeting a point just here. Let me think. To try to get all three. Yeah, well, it gets all three the way. It's 20 feet, so it's like one, two, three. We'll say this is a silent thing of rats. Uh, the one that's not on the gold token will cancel you. Very well. Never mind then. Uh, she goes to do it. Yeah, she just kind of reaches out a hand, and like, even though you don't like breathe, she just cuts off the air medium that travels the spell out. Uh, and then he says, oh, taste of your own medicine. Very well. Uh, so does that still count as me having used my spell for the turn, for the purposes of that? Yes. Campaign? Yeah. Okay, yes. Unfortunately. I see. Because it's like you cast a spell, and it gets cut off right at the end. Yeah. Flash. They are persistent. That's the end of my turn. Yeah. Like, she was okay at her being silenced, but if you're gonna silence three of them, nah, she's not gonna have that. Um. Okay. Vanta. Vanta? Yes. Um. How high up is Boy? 30 feet. Right. So you're looking close. Yeah, I'm still just in range. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna do damage. Um, that's 22. Concentration check of 11. Succeeds. Ugh. It's still minus to be 4. Yeah. They can't. With what they're wrong, they can't. They're being different. difficult. How come you didn't give them more Bane? Um, How do I give them Look, if Bane is so good, where's Bane 2? There actually isn't Bane 2. It's in Mac caps at 1d4 and higher levels just let me cast it at more people. And I'm going to use a third level spell slot to get three sorcery points back. Anything else? Um, Any movement? Any rearrangement? They're all partying over that way. They are all partying over that way. And I don't think I'm going to maintain concentration on this stooge for much longer because he's just going to fly into space. I'll sit tight for now. Oh, wait. Who's next? Sorry, what I. Other than priests, Dylan. Priests. Okay, priest A. Uh, with her action, she will start re concentrating on the ritual. With her bonus action, she will. 10, 15. Yeah. Um, she'll move three squares up to in front of Solomon, the one that isn't on the gold token. She'll move, yeah, uh, one more square diagonal that way. No, the other way. Sorry. The other way. And then up. Next to Solomon. Oh, Next to yep. Yeah. Okay, she will cast uh, Shocking Grasp. You are entirely made of metal. Yeah, I was going to say. The, the bad armor, touch. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, for a... 26. That bitch. Uh, that is... Uh, 9 points of lightning damage. And then she'll just move back to where she was because you can't take a reaction. But the guard can. Yes, but the guard can. Get him. So go back to where she was the first time? Bye, Natural 20 from the guard. Just slaps him and moves. Uh, it's 12 plus 3. Slaps on the guard. You'll get it next time, chap. That's 19 points of damage from so his attack. Uh, as he lays this fucking sword into her torso. Uh, okay. B, which is on the one that. Uh, fly uh, 30 feet towards me. Oh, that's out of my range. Yeah. Um, and we'll just continue maintaining concentration on the ritual. So you know she can't actually know. So she's gonna flying. Be, no, she can't. <laughs> it's alright guys, I've got this. Huh? <laughs> uh, she just maintained concentration on the fly and she will what would you do? What is the spell list of me cultist to be? 
It helps us to be aware of what spells do you have. It may not be productive, but I am safe. <laughs> How injured is she looking? She's bound. I did give her the good suck. Yeah, she's yeah. been sucked off many times. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Four consecutive Sounds rounds, I'll have you know. Yeah, wow. <laughs> 24 seconds of continuous sucking off. <laughs> um, Everyone else is like, I'm getting killed. She's doing 24 seconds of the fight with you. Is your catchphrase, I, mean, I want to suck you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, she will just end it like that. For now. <clears throat> number. So not number. Let's, let <laughs> number us, C. Let us see. We'll continue maintaining concentration on the ritual. Number D. Actually, yeah, and, num- and with her bonus action. Uh, Is that the one with the gold token? Mm-hmm. Yeah. With her bonus action, move up to. Well, we won't move her, but she, because she'll move back to the same spot. Actually, no. She will shock and grasp you. Yeah. What armor are you wearing? Your leather, right? Stud leather? Yeah. Yeah. So, just regular. She's down again. No, she rolled a natural one. Oh, no, no, so no. You punch her, me. she punches you. you both laugh. of you have a strength of negative one. <laughs> yeah, we both just fell when I like this. Shit. <laughs> That's what just a funny moment. moment. That didn't happen, okay. <laughs> We're both just like, you didn't see me do that. Um, <laughs> just like kind of shake and then hands. Like, the. Like, I'll just do it. Will. Walk up to Tywin. Which one? Again. The one that just healed him. This one? Go away. Hey. Yes. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Leave him alone. He's doing his best. <laughs> um, and she will just lay a hand on your skull. Just grip it. And she will call out to the rest of you. Stand down or I blow his fucking brains out. <laughs> Can that be what Solomon does? He just does <laughs> 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 You've chosen the worst possible hostage. All of you to assume he has any. <laughs> you do Indeed. not realize whose skull you hold. <laughs> <laughs> you um, call that leverage? <laughs> I'll show you that. You're talking, yeah, literally talking about the one who's like, kill them, don't worry about me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And that ends their turns. Who's next? The guard. <laughs> the guard. Uh, he will. Oh, they're both uh, He'll move up to just the gold token lady, the black token will move it up. And attack. Twice. No true one on the first one, unfortunately. And no, both miss, unfortunately. As he takes two swings and just. Yeah. Um, so for the players. Uh, the mechanical trigger for her health for her health spell is any of you guys taking any aggressive action. Uh, who's next? Uh, the methods. So okay. I guess the ones. <laughs> Can I get a d6, please? A d6. Five. Five. It is in place speech checks. <clears throat> um, any offensive action? Decide to roll the window. <laughs> Does that include intimidation in the situation? We'll see. Based on what your intimidation is, <laughs> it's not going to matter. <laughs> My bad. It's not going to get too much before it goes off. There's no barriers. <laughs> just check these wherever. Yeah, just, yeah, just yeah, more than one of us have been like, Ooh. yeah, fine. Oh. It's gonna be hideous. Wait, why like, did I do that? When I rolled the D one hundred, I got a one. If I was a cleric, great. Any other situation, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> um, who's next? Uh, Tywin. <laughs> what you doing, bud? Um... <laughs> For the record, can you roll me two things, first of all? Can you roll me a wisdom saving throw? That's his second one. Ooh. That's gonna be the second one. The second one? Yeah, he rolled a wisdom save last, last session. What was it? When was Nine. That? Uh-huh. God. Um... I don't know what the hell this is. I'm still doing drugs, what can I do? Lower his head up, just pure Acer. Uh, you are overcome with this inconsolable rage. Um, 
these people, like the people of the town, have suffered so fucking much. And you know, and you know just what these fucking people deserve. A taste of their own medicine. As you feel like this grip on your heart, this like not aether, like once again, the aether just burns out of you. You, the aether just burns out of you. But you feel this grip on your fucking heart, as this. And you feel empowered. Um, and, and yeah, there's just this in, insurmountable rage. The next thing I need to roll is a d100. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that hurts to shake. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's, 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 that's fucked. That's not helping. There we go. 27. There. <laughs> there we go. That's helping my ass. <laughs> <laughs> no. yeah. we'll if violence okay. is not That's the my solution. Birthday number 27. There you go. Um, so that. I'm feeling rage at the people we're fighting, right? Yes. Cool. Good, because I already was. But like now, yeah. yeah. Um, also, as me- mechanically, uh, every time you land an attack, you deal an additional 1d8 necrotic. Nice. Ooh. Okay. Holy moly. Well, then I'm going to change my scimitar to be necrotic damage as well, just to uh-huh. extra like flavor that. Um, and I'll just like l- tilt my head slightly up as I've got the grip on my skull and just be like, I don't give a fuck. And I'll try to stab him in the back with my scimitar. Uh-huh. Let's see. That Ooh. is a, not very high. Uh, what the fuck is my, 13. Uh-huh. Um, what did you roll on your D100 by the way? 27, 27. right? Um, who you didn't interact with uh, Nemesis? You didn't interact with Nemesis. Nemesis. Like, was I don't think I've ever met. Yeah. Yeah. Nemesis and is... you have. I think I have. Okay. Yeah. It would have been at the beginning. Yeah. Like, when we met. The four of you, um, and actually, the three of you, and you feel this um, on Tywin's back, just like this cape made of the same like mossy material that Nemesis wore like enshrouds him and it kind of locks kind of like like kind of like doctor strange cloak-esque like the bot- like the tail end of the cloak just wraps around her leg holding in holding her in place so you can roll again with advantage didn't help that much uh 15 Hit. oh 15. Nice. Uh, mm. and an extra how much damage 1d8 one one eight. 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 on top of whatever other modifiers you yep. have Boy, it was time to get one of those. Do I see it? It's all you would not. Even Nemesis. Uh, 20 points of necrotic damage. Huh? Um, uh, her health spell goes off mm-hmm. as she shot and grasps you again. You're wearing metal armor, so she has advantage. But that's uh, 15. Uh, 15 doesn't hit. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, um, so I just like stab them, and then like as the shocking grass is about to go off, I use my other hand to knock off the hand that was holding my mm-hmm. skull, and then try to stab them with the dagger. Huh? Oh no, actually, I have a second attack that I haven't used yet, so oh, I'm gonna stab them with the same target. Okay, you have advantage again. Yes. The cape's just like wrapped around her leg, holding her in place. Uh, that was cocked, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, fifteen again. Ah, uh, hits. The prequel to the Zac Efron movie. Shit, not that. threatening us with Tyler's life. <laughs> uh, 16 points of damage. Uh, yeah, threatening Tyler's life. How do, with Tywin's <gasps> wife. How do I want to do it? Yeah. I'll just, like, I'll stab it in, into uh, her, mm-hmm. her back, and just, like, immediately, like, knock out her legs and pull her to the floor mm-hmm. and uh, I'll just like lean down and go you chose the wrong hostage and pull the sword up just like through the spine it's like clacking against the spine as it goes doo, 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 doo. oh my god the mu- <laughs> freaking musical prodigy yeah. I love it <laughs> joining the pack of vendors now does that pursue this? yeah round of applause <laughs> standing ovation um and I'm just going to uh move to the method hmm? And stab it with a dagger. Huh? <laughs> you do an additional 1d8, so you actually have a chance of killing it with a dagger. Yeah. Kill. No, I don't. Uh, let's say 14. No. Yeah. So much for it being a lucky day. 
Yeah, I mean, I'm going, this, it was very lucky for a while. Um, I'll move it to the unlucky side. That, uh, to that end, everyone notices this. Tywin's eyes, there is like an, a flicker of flame inside them. Um, who's next? Uh, Lapis. So now that she's just watched time and brutally murdered this woman that had a hostage, she's just gonna be like, well, I guess we're killing people now. I guess that's permission. I, I do assume that was a lethal blow. Like from yeah. the. Yeah. yeah. It would have had to have been. 22? Hits. <laughs> Lapis has gotten all the permission she needs right mistake. now. <laughs> like, <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Yeah, she's just like, well, I mean, considering she just spent a good time, she's like, well, I guess I'll try to save it now. Um, five, that is. Ten. I can't see it the last times. <laughs> 18. Huh? See it. Uh, she roll a concentration check against you. Um, yes, succeed. Mm -hmm. Hit again, hit again, hit again. This, this combat's making me like appreciate how good fucking Warcaster is. 19. It's very good. 19. <laughs> 19 uh, hits. So a d4 plus 2. Four. I think it's just a false representation. So you're rolling two dice, so you're more likely to get one of them level, but Four. you don't have to care about it. That's why it's Four. good. Four. Yeah. On average, it, like, on average, it's about a plus 5 to your rolls. Yeah. Um. So, I completely zoned out. Was it damage? Four. Four. Sweet. Uh, sick. Okay, um, that brings us to... Hi. Hello. How... I haven't been paying too much attention to how this freaking rod in the center looks like, but what does it look like? It's getting pretty close to being fully charged. Okay. If... And this might be a real dumb decision, but I think I'm going to do it regardless yes. because that's what Trey likes to do. Yeah. <laughs> that's what dumb decisions are for. <laughs> I'm going to kiss the pillow. <laughs> it's one of those things where it's like you lick it and your tongue gets stuck. I'm going to charm it, no. Suplex. Um, I mean, it is a rod. <laughs> I want to try and hit it so that it actually tries to move. From its direction that it's pointing in. Okay. Well, I did give it an armor class and hit points for this exact reason, so uh, roll to hit. Yes. There is no, like, honestly, it's not a dumb decision at all. Just... This feels important. I hate it. <laughs> Every solution is viable, just how probable it is depends on. 23? Hits. And I still have concentration on my smile. <laughs> <laughs> And do you want to pump a divine smite into as well? Why the fuck not? I guess. Uh, it's just gonna be at first level. Uh -huh. Um, but it's thunder smite, but it's not a creature, so that won't do anything. Not it prone. <laughs> yeah, move it ten feet away from me, which is like it moving, which is kind of like. This thing just shooting a beam of lightning across the city. <laughs> <laughs> so that's. Homeland of beam. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. That's the vibe. <laughs> Devin, please tell me why you get random it's cat names every time you open a new tab. I love it. That's just what it does. It <laughs> <laughs> do it for me. That's just what it does. No it's broken. Uh, yeah. it, the skull will tell you if you are cast it while it happens. It, it doesn't say anything, which is why I'm asking. I'll check with you. Because yeah. otherwise we're just rolling 2d6. Yeah, because they go. 18. Hits. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Please, Lord Thunderous Smite. I'll roll my radiant damage. Uh, Ooh, no, it, there is no upcasting yeah, it. So if you can okay. use it at high level spell spot, it just doesn't do anything additional. Yeah, that's fine. Well, them both again. Okay. So that's that. That's that. So 34 damage. 34 damage, yeah. Mm. And then I'm gonna swing at it again. Uh, as you deal damage to it, you take nine points of lightning damage, mm -hmm. uh, and you gain a stack of jolt. 
I remember those words. Mm -hmm. Oh, who's giving out joke? Yes. Hang on, who's giving out joke? Just the lightning, the lightning rod. rod. Oh. You know, and I go. It's not exactly giving out joke as much as Trey's. If you're stupid, fuck you. Oh, you do notice with 34 damage, it does like. It does like a and little. It was also Thunder Smite, which does smooth things. Yeah, yeah, but even without Thunder Smite, um, I'll tell you this. Uh, if you deal 25 damage to it in one hit, it's tilt slightly. If your stupid fucking deity wants to try and take over this fucking town, they better show up themselves. Don't say dumb words like that. What do you think these guys are summoning? 16. <laughs> Don't encourage them. They actually just come to him. I gave him a hint. Mm -hmm. Last second, I gave him a hint. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, was that two? It was 16. 16 hits. Okay. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah. We'll, 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 we'll second level Divine Smite that one as well. Why the hell am I? Twenty-eight damage. Um, yeah. Okay. So it, it, it tilts another, like a little bit. Twenty-eight damage. Sick. Yeah. Uh, do I take, take more damage? Yes. That's pretty good. Sixteen. Twenty-one points of damage. Okay. Um. Another attack. No, you don't. I don't. Um. Would it work the same? Bonus action, try and get rid of my shock of jolt. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, Bonus action, you ground. Yeah. And you lose all your jolt. Yeah, that's my nice. turn. Nice. Six. Uh, who is next? Uh, Tilly. Okay, so she is flying away. Mm -hmm. Flying. Um, I still want to shoot her though. So disadvantage. Indeed. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, that's not too bad. Um, Nineteen mm -hmm. hits. And uh, eight damage. Yep. Yeah. Concentration. So succeeds. Can I do silvery barbs on that? Which I checked that I can do it on saving throws. Sure. Are you within range? Um. What's the range of silvery barbs? Sixty feet. Question mark. Yep, 60. Ah, she still succeeds with, with the disadvantage. Yeah. Damn it. Who gets the advantage? Um, I will give the two... Give some range. I don't suppose so. Or oh, yourself. Or the methods. Is time in range? Five, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll give it to time. Timon's looking a little bit morally compromised. I don't know if you should have... No, I'm not. I don't know, he seems to be killing the same people as you. Go away, voice of reason. Killing is the operative <laughs> word there. All I saw was that someone wants to kill her and he just got up and stabbed her through twice and now she's dead. Mm -hmm. I'm all good. Okay. Um... I really want her to fall, but... You can attack her again. I can. Do it. Well, yeah, I, I mean, what else can I do right now? What have you got to lose? Um, Less than we'll the person flying above exactly. the abyss. This person's going to drop. Uh, I do. I this person's going to drop. Yes. So 30 eight, feet up. 8 damage again. 30 feet up off the tower, so they'll fall straight to 3. 8 damage. Yeah, the 8 tower. damage again. Uh, it's... At uh, 80 feet tall. So 110 feet. That's a. That's a drop. That's a drop. Hmm. What was that damage? Eight. Again. Uh, fails. Nice! <laughs> what? Yeah! Because mine is the d4. The d4 coming in blood. Yes, <laughs> fine. <laughs> Uh, I will roll 11 d6 damage. Now? She is a it takes a while to fall, doesn't it? Uh, you drop. Yeah, according to the written, it's drop, Oh, is it really? No, it's 500 feet around. Oh. R8, R8, I'll leave. I see. Yeah, okay. Cool. Yeah. 
Um, Often DMs are just nice to players yeah, because yeah, yeah. falling tends to kill players. Yeah, if we didn't inter- intend to kill that one, this one is going to die. Uh, so. I, I am complaining. <laughs> Rest in peace. So wait, can you just like throw something at her? No, I just shot her. I have a bunch. Oh, <laughs> 11, 13, 15, uh, 18, uh, 23, 24, 30, 36, 40, 45. 45 damage. Um, what did you say? Huh? Split. Split. Considering that's like, give me one second. Praise <laughs> turn. 45 is nearly in my max health. Once again. Praise <laughs> 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 <Trey's> turn. <laughs> um. Hate to do it to you, bud, but she reactionarily casts Featherfall. <laughs> she's out of the combat for now. She has to like come all the way up, but that's fine. She can't concentrate on the pillar. Yeah, um, exactly. It's, which is a really good thing. Uh, I will uh, at the end. Um... I like how the ground's coming up at her, and she's like. It feels like that's gonna hurt like a forty-five. I'll probably run. <laughs> I just want to roll more. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want that. <laughs> I just want to roll the dice. I'll go towards you, Lapis. I was uh, uh, while the spell was, while her spell list was loading up. I was just rolling the dice for, for, for dramatic effect. Also because I wanted to fuck up Jordan's a little like Mike like don't roll the dice. <laughs> <laughs> There's no rules here at this table. I didn't say don't roll the dice on the table. So if I just did like this, or if you got like, Hamish is like right the mic, roll it. Oh, dude. <laughs> Be fine for the mic, probably. I'd probably say you. There you go. Um, <laughs> who's next? I have to break the table. After seeing him. Uh, Solomon. Solomon. Solomon Five. Solomon has five. just seen one of them out of the corner of his. I will still chuck this under it because it's still banned. Yes. Has just seen one of them. <laughs> well. And then, and it's also very distinctly seen you. Make sure they come. I will. That was not non-lethal. <laughs> I will have words with you after this. Accidentally Slap hit the vital. Given what you are wearing, I do not believe it to be accidental. Self-defense. Uh, at which point Solomon stride back up here. Making assumptions based on what he's wearing. Pretty much. <laughs> um, and he will once again... I am once again coming to you. Coming to you live! To cast silence. I, enough of this. Yield before it means your death. The ritual means too much to her. She's going to kind of spell again. Very well. Damn. What, yeah, what level do you cast? Second level, right? Third level. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. She doesn't have to roll for it then. <coughs> yeah, the ritual means too much to her. Wait, you still have a counter spell? Wow. I used that. I used my yeah, third level didn't. slots last session. We didn't do any resting. That's fair enough. Uh, and will... Yeah, the option to rest was given to you. We had exactly. things. Exactly. If I rested, stop. I could have had my channel divinity back. It's fucking bullshit. Uh, he will... <laughs> Look, I'm not going to stop you from going to smack some clerics, but if you want to go smack some clerics right now, then you don't get your small slots back. It's fair. Um, and I'm guessing, uh, as another thing, I suppose it's very obvious that the one that Tyrant killed is beyond saving, aren't they? Uh, they're all in death saves. They are death saves? Yeah. Oh, oh, awesome. Like awesome. spine splitter part or something. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was just pressing. Well, that was flavor. We that was had like a yeah. spinal xylophone. Like I, I'd be fine with it if it was just like, oh yeah, it's really gay thanks to what's... I, it's yeah. probably more thematic. I would have uh, I would have stabbed him then with the dagger if I remember that. You can always get back and finish him off. Yeah. You're still standing. If you want to say a retroactive you did that, I'm fine with it because I didn't... I think it would have missed that. anyway, to be honest. No, I'm gonna... I'm, Happy with that one. Someone will regain some health as you see the a few of the jolts <laughs> that was around him repair. Um, uh-huh. Do I want to be within range of Trey? Uh, um, at the moment, she's standing next to the big l- lightning thingy that's going to go. Yeah, <laughs> 10 foot's too far away anyway. Do you, do you beat uh, the action? So, sorry? Do you beat the action? No. Uh, Someone's still having a hard time. I'm, I keep strolling up and down the page and it fucks things up. Oh, that's the end of my turn. Yeah. You want that? Now everyone's having a party over there. Yeah, well, I'm gonna go join that party. <laughs> Vanta. 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 Uh, I want to join two, this party. Three, four, five. And as I stomp over there, um, yes. Uh, 
from beneath my rags sprout these two immense bone wings, just sort of clearly just torn from my flesh, covered in bile and blood. And my feet lift off the ground as the bone, like the ends of these bone wings stick into the ground and begin walking on my behalf. And I stomp right over there. Yeah. And Solomon, Lapis, and all three of the NPCs there need to make a uh, saving throw against this horrifying nonsense. Um, a what is this? Charisma saving throw. This is <laughs> this is this is necrotic shroud. Nine. Necrotic shroud. Oh my goodness! That's a nine. You're about to be frightened. I'm Vanta sure. is held aloft like a foot and a half, two feet off the ground. Well, she comes uh, up to Solomon's chin. What's the saving throw? <laughs> Seventeen. Right. Fail on the on the guard. Hmm. Uh, success. And success. So the guard fails. So does Solomon. <laughs> so all, the so all of your have allies have failed so the same. Fuck yeah. Well, it's just everyone, so. <laughs> um, yes. And then I'm going to spend two sorcery points. What is the credit shrub? Uh, on every. Mm, what is it? Once on my turn. I can have one attack or spell do nine points of extra necrotic damage. Mm -hmm. well, <laughs> so I'm going, going to cast a fourth level vampiric touch uh -huh. and make an attack against the guy who's been banged. Uh -huh. That is a 21 to hit. Definitely hit. Roll me some motherfucking damage. <laughs> that is... 4, 8, 12, 14, 17, 26. 26? 26. Okay. Um, and did you add your 9 onto that? 26. Um, did you add it? No, you were for 13. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So Wait, so if they succeeded the Necrotic Shroud, does that plus that 9 still... Yeah, I think the 9 is just something she can have. Yeah, it's just a passive thing okay. for the So what, what, do I, what happens? If you're, you're frightened of... Yeah. Frightened you're frightened, frightened, which means oh, you have you disadvantage on... Like, well, that's why well, you're within sight. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh, and oh, the for, for this next round. What <clears throat> manner of creature are you? She's... As you see these bone wings... Like unnaturally crack and shift out of Vanta's back, and starts propelling her forward with these protrusions emanating out of her. Lapis uh, feels sick. She's like, "What the fuck is that?" Who save the world? What the fuck? I came in. Are those just inside you the whole time? <laughs> what the fuck? Can you do no. Just as you said, I am someone who will save the world. In one of my Discord chats, a Homelander gift showed up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, it's the priest's turn. Yes. So one is making a death save. Uh huh. We'll start with that one, just for dramatic effect. Fail. Fail seven. Yeah. Um. If she bleeds out, I, that's not my fault. Yeah. You could go on potion and pull me. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> no. I, I mean, I don't have many potions. I mean, so I moreover, like, even if the thought crosses your mind, Nemesis won't let you do it. Yeah. Uh, the priest behind will cast Thunderstep. No. Mm. Yeah. The priest behind will cast Thunderstep and teleport the two of them to the opposite side of the arena. Can you pass? You yeah. Can you pass the two tokens and the gold token underneath to train? So will they be like the same way, like this, yeah. or they'll be like around? one square in as well, uh, diagonally towards me? Yeah. Okay. Uh, can I get everyone to roll a Constitution saving throw? Everybody? Yeah. In, in in that in that range. Oh, okay. <laughs> next next, next two, I'm sorry, not everyone. Seventeen. Seventeen. Someone. 18? No, one, one plus five. That is a 15. 
That's going to be the next skill. Uh, you take seven points of damage. She's down. Uh, you take three points of damage. Uh, he takes seven points of damage. And Vanta? Fifteen. Uh, seven points of damage. Mm. I will make a concentration check. Which succeeds. Um, the other cleric. Actually, she would have. Yeah, she, I'll say. Does she have this source to come for? Let me just check. Take your two quick ins. Two quick ins. Yeah, no, she's gonna re up her concentration on the. Um, and the other cleric will. Yeah, just continue concentrating. She won't do anything. She, she, she just devotes herself entirely to finishing this off. Um, who's next? The guard. Uh huh. The guard who wants to go towards the 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 clerics but can't but has to run away from Vanta so runs the other way. Uh, do you want to move the black token to the edge of the ring? Edge of the ring, like here? Yeah. Mm-hmm. He can't move towards me, but since he's already Jason, he can he can he can sneak around. Well, he has to go away from you, right? Like radially outwards. Nah, it's just no, not he can't towards. Move so since he's adjacent, oh, okay. he can just skirt so around me. He the black token and goes 30 feet that way. Which way? Uh, towards the clerics. Towards the, okay, so it has to go around yeah. there somewhere. Mm-hmm. I can't. Hold on. Yeah, there you go. That's on you, bro. I don't know where it goes. I think that's 60. Uh-huh. Uh, and then who is after that? Uh, the methods. Okay, they just zoom in. Oh, that's bad. Can you grab the other two you done? So on, so on. Oh. Ah! Okay. Apologies. <laughs> um, at this point, uh, you hear That's the you hear the lightning rod go. <laughs> I didn't know you were there, bud. Can I get Tilly and Trey to roll me dexterity saving throws? I didn't know you were there, bud. Uh, oh, I know. <laughs> I rolled a natural one. Oh. <laughs> so. I rolled a 20, unnatural. Uh, oh. Eight total? Oh. Totally am doing that thing. <laughs> oh, Jesus. So, I'm just going to roll this digitally because I don't have <laughs> enough dice for this. Oh. Oh. <laughs> ah. wow. oh okay. And, yeah, I don't have enough dice for this. <laughs> Uh, a nuke goes off and then die. <laughs> Centralized nuke okay. within 15 feet. I know the number that. I know the number. <laughs> I know the number. You did the maths in your head? Uh huh. Which will also mean that you would die. <laughs> but would you succeed? I don't know how that will work. Succeed? I don't know. With a, with a 20? I don't know. Like, would be oh, you half succeed. damage? You succeed. You fail, definitely. Oh, I know. I mean, I'm guessing I take half damage still. Yes. yes. Yeah. I, I'm pretty sure I'm. How much health are you on? Just, just out of curiosity. 34, which is pretty close to my max, but That's it's, good. Uh, it's still <laughs> less than half than most of the party. Yes. <laughs> we'll find out in the next episode. <laughs> <laughs> the funeral episode. Okay, so. Tilly. Yeah. You take 45 points yep, of down. lightning damage. Yeah, at least just down. You take 90. <laughs> That was two points away from me being completely dead. What, it needed to be 92? Yep. It's fine, it's fine. It's like when Tywin survived by one HP with the disintegration spell or whatever. Um, yeah, that was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's alright, it's alright. Uh, um, you hear uh, the these three women in like kind of like chant. Two now. Discord- Wouldn't it be two? Sorry, two. The third one, third one, slowly rising up in the background. <laughs> <laughs> so two um, uh, in this like discordant chant, they just go. Um, we devote ourselves to you, the keeper of breath. The one who provides life, and you see this. Wait, I don't hear this. Like, and you see this. Uh, yeah. like, and you see. I see the, the like these tendrils of um, electricity charge out towards the three that are on this like dais, this platform, 
and like th three like kind of like oxaliting go through the floor and like like weave through, and you see they zap like into them and just start killing them. Oh, and the one who fell off must be so mad they're missing the ascension. Missing out on the fun. <laughs> Um, Sorry, gone. But you see that you see their bodies become these like globules of pure energy that start um, being basically yeah like vaporized and drawn into this rod, which due to Trey's efforts is is a few degrees off kilter, which um, we will resolve after the break. Okay, we'll be back very soon. See you then. Bye.
Welcome back. Um, shocking news, yeah. <laughs> As a uh, Trey gets uh, brutally almost murdered. Yeah. yeah. Dead. Um, yeah. We did it. We survived. No, I didn't. Uh, do you think? Time. Wait, dead, dead. No, I'm not. Comes to it. Almost a standstill. Yeah, I kind of. survived. Yeah. <laughs> Time comes to an almost standstill as this lightning rod channels an, a lightning bolt starting at its tip and reverberating outwards. Um, this phenomena, quite rare both in real life and in this fantasy world, this reverse arc of lightning bolts up straight where uh, Trey had redirected it. It still crests through the edge of this ring of storm and though it does pierce a hole through its, through the storm's otherwise perfect ring. Uh, you see the winds begin to be, uh, build up faster and faster. As can I have all like four of those uh, lady, lovely ladies? And bye, ladies. See you later. Um. The winds begin to pick up faster and faster as uh, a being made of entirely of air that comes crashing down right uh, at the pillar, if possible, just uh, into that. Yeah. He's on top. <coughs> yeah. I'll just, 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 <laughs> the just, 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 just shut the pillar aside if you want. Ah ha ha! Um. <laughs> The last thing um, the, the last thing uh, you heard the uh, one of the priestesses say is gift us with your avatar and the, as their essences were absorbed by the lightning rod, you saw these essences start to merge together into this form. Um, Adding to initiative, at an initiative of, I should roll this now, uh, 17. So oh, shit. Uh, what dex is it? That's ahead of Solomon. And uh, no, because I'm on 17. Yeah. So what dex uh, has it got? This will be got? plus one. So it's behind me. Haha. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It's important to know. Uh, whose time is it? Tywin. Okay. I don't know what this thing is, but it's going down. I'm going to Hunter's Market mm -hmm. with my packed slot. Uh -huh. That's all I got left. So this is being powered purely by Warlock Energy. Oh, it's healthy. Um, <laughs> which yeah. is very thematic. Very of thematic. Going. Yeah, which is very thematic of what's going on right now. Um, I'm going to charge directly at it uh -huh. with my... Uh, scimitar raised mm -hmm. and uh, what damage would be good? What's good against air? Just breathe it in, low. Earth, wind, fire. Alright, let's just let's just make it necrotic. Um, Keep it flavorful. So, yeah, it's it is an amethyst scimitar right now. And I will uh, attempt to give it a stab. Um, yeah. Singular stab. Mm -hmm. Well, one for now. I'm doing it with advantage because of your silvery barbs. Uh, a 27 to hit. Definitely hits. Okay, so. Um, <laughs> is it below its max health? No. How do you know? Like, it didn't lose any health from the thing being. No. Okay. Or when it dropped in from the sky, it didn't take full damage. <laughs> <laughs> I love you guys, but no. That was a, that's a pretty decent assumption that the movement of the thing might have brought it slightly below its That one's fine, but the full damage one on the arrow <laughs> that went into it. Um, okay. So this, oh, am I still doing extra nemesis damage? Yes. Okay. Um, that is 20 points of necrotic damage. Sounds good. Um, stabbing it again. Uh -huh. 
That's a 24 to hit. Hits. Okay. Look at that fucking roll. Oh my god. <laughs> one, 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 two. Um, <coughs> oh, would you be able to read back initiative for me by any chance? Just uh, so, Tywin, Lapis, Tree, and uh, then the weird avatar thing. Okay, so Tywin, Lapis, Tree. So then, 20. Then. Yep. Uh, Tealy, Solomon, Vanta. And then I assume the priest and the, the method stuff is gone, so then the guard rounds it out. Tealy, Solomon, Vanta? Yeah, Tealy, Solomon, Vanta. And then guard, I believe. Huh? And that's so it. how much damage was that on your second one? Nine points of damage yeah. with more dice. <laughs> and uh, and let's go with a stabby stab with a uh, dagger. That is a 15 to hit. Uh, misses, unfortunately. Okay. And that is my turn. I also realised I couldn't have done that third hit because I hunt as much. Oh, so. true. <laughs> uh, where was the garden initiative? Sorry. No, you haven't had your turn. Yet. No, I'm still counting that because I had been rolling that blue. Just that's a three. Okay, that's. Oh, uh, guards at the end. Okay. Okay. <sighs> See, this is why I said you shouldn't have taken it. <laughs> no, I will anyway. I'll take my O's. That, what the hell? That's a pass. Alright. Uh, it's its turn. Yeah. Did you do nine points of damage on the second hit? Yeah. Okay. Stupid amount of damage. What? Stack of drill. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Um. After, actually, this is during Tywin's after Tywin's turn. It will take a legendary action and slam into uh, Tywin. Okay. Uh, for a eighteen. Hit. Um. Can I get a strength saving throw? Mm-hmm. Won't be good. Natural one. <clears throat> Damn, you were right, and also this is terrible damage. Two points of damage, and you're knocked uh, ten feet back. Cool. <clears throat> um, for its turn, um, uh, it will move up to Vanta. Pretty I can take a few more of those hits today. Um, uh, and it will attempt to grapple you. Can you make me an ac- athletics or acrobatics check, please? <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, mm-hmm. That is Healthy. that is a uh, seven. Seven. Uh, Ooh, it grapples you, um, and it will then just take its other two attack and slam you into the ground twice um, mm-hmm. for a uh, nineteen and a twenty-three. Yep, yep, they certainly hit. My armor class of 11. <laughs> uh, well, you take uh, seven points of damage from the first hit and gain a stack of jolt. Ooh. Here we go, jolt time. And then you take uh, 12 points of damage and gain another stack of jolt. Alright, I'm going to make two concepts. And you are still going. Very good. That's pass. That is also a pass. See? <coughs> um, that brings us to Tilly's time. <laughs> You're right. That's safe. That's a pass. Good. Good shit. Solomon. Uh, so let me just check something because I cannot I, I cannot move closer to Vanta this turn because someone did fucking weird <laughs> shit. <laughs> so I'm assuming she's pointing at that thing. Oh, sorry. Where you were putting your finger down? Can't apply. Hang on. You can do it. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) You're gonna have to take a photo on that side. Can I grab a photo of that? Yeah, come around. (laughs) While you figure out what you're doing with the gem? I know what I'm doing. Okay, you just gotta just tell me what you're doing. I'm not. I'm. I assume she hasn't moved, so I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna go around Vanta, and even as you're being throttled by this thingish. 
It is. Um, he's basically... <laughs> I know not what matter of creature you are, but I will have words with you after this, Vanta. Mm. Um, he gets round to there and casts... Uh, as you see, <laughs> as he's begging, and he says, By the life of Pelor, by the dominion of... All right, all right, all right. I've written it down. Vorkul? Vorkul? By the dominion of Vorkul, whose temple you desecrate. I charge you leave, you hideous thing. And as he does, the glowing light of Palor washes out from him in the same aura that you saw him cast down the streets. And that's the end of my turn. You cast Aura of Life? I do something like that, yes. <laughs> it might be. Uh, Vanta. You are grappled by this uh, air elemental. Mm-hmm. Would you say that the air element looks hostile to me? I, I, I'd, I'd say so. Like, I, 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 you don't know what gives you that vibe, but... I'm just checking because otherwise it has resistance to all the spells. I try and wiggle around and sort of latch my wings into it. And try and draw as much as I can from this thing into myself. With a uh, 14 to hit. Uh, misses. Mm -hmm. uh, in that case, I'm going to cry because I can't do anything else. <laughs> um, what else can I do? Oh, and there's a bonus action on my turn. May I activate the new room in my hammer? Yeah. Is this thing doing bludgeoning damage or lightning damage? Uh, Smacking. Uh, I should actually be specifying this. The jolt is electrical, lightning, and the like. The slam is bludgeoning. Mm, yeah, cool. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I was wondering. Um. Basically, like, favorite. Every time he slams you, like, a bunch of, like, electrical sparks fly off of you. Just shot him. And it's grounding yourself as a bonus action? Yes. In that case, I'll just do that. Can you ground yourself while you're not on the ground? Uh, yeah, no, like it's more like just like, kind of like, you know, just shutting it off yourself as well. Like yeah. you can just touch yourself to get the static jaw off. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Um, in which case, this is guard stone. Uh, the guard will move 30 feet in if he can. But isn't not still frightened by Vanta? Oh, true. No, no, yeah, it's only one. Oh, sorry. Oh. Yes. Can, I, can I bellow to the guard? And out of action is... Roland, get help! This thing will not go down easily. We have fought them before. I don't know what you get help. Like, the, the town's guard have been cap held captive. Town's guard? Mm -hmm. they, want, they wanted this to be successful. Why is it always just the goddamn nonsense and the order nonsense? Um, he will take two attacks. For a miss and a hit. Mm -hmm. Two, six points of damage. Which we are not to miss. Fuck it. Why is attack guard only useful when someone in the party tries to assassinate a leader of a country in no other time? <laughs> No, well, was there one time where Solomon was leading guards and they did a thing and... Unfortunately, I couldn't keep track of these guys. I'd, I'd find out if I them. You should. Um, yeah, doing uh, 9 points of damage to it, but uh, it gets half to 4 because it's not magical. Uh, that brings us to the top of initiative. Tywin. With Tywin. Tywin. Um, Tywin. Uh, Is the storm decreased now? The no. Recent? So it's exactly It's bad. just maintaining. It's, just, it's not getting any worse now. But it's already pretty bad. Uh, since Vanta is mechanically just grappled, Vanta is mechanically on I'm the ground. Physically. Can, no, <laughs> can, I, can I go around and get a flanking bonus for standing on the other side of where, where they're facing? Like here? Uh, Is that... No, I, I meant like when that stairs, like, when those stairs are. Yeah. yeah. Like, can I get flanking bonus there? Um, with who? Vanta? With Vanta. Yeah, sure. Yeah, cool. Um, I am going to scimitar them in the back. Stab, stab. 
That's a 16 with flanking bonus. Uh, I, mean, I haven't added anything, so. So plus two, I guess, 18 is technically. Oh, 18 hits. No, no, no. No, I'm manifesting. Don't even roll it. No, I'm manifesting. Kevin, last time you did this. Um, that is 17 points of damage huh? mm-hmm. and uh, necrotic damage. Mm-hmm. Um, stab again. That is a 19 with the flank hits 21. Uh, hits. That is uh, 16 points of damage again. Uh, 16? Mm-hmm. Sweet. And finally, dagger. Uh huh. Uh, 16. 16? To hit? Yeah. Misses. Okay. Man, I suck with that fucking dagger. Uh, you don't need to roll. You're automatically at one hit point, right? Yes, because of War of Life. As you feel, as you feel the storm gathering, you feel She's cold and alone. She doesn't even let me say e- end of my turn. <laughs> no. And she immediately <laughs> rolls. She's it. been, mani- 16 anyway, She's been so manifesting that roll. <laughs> 16. You feel the light of halo wash over you and you are reinvigorated. Lapis is going to get up and see the absolute mayhem that is now this thing and she's like are you fucking serious bro why guys i'm just gonna close my eyes and pretend to be dead <laughs> i can't <laughs> feign death myself i'm all too to... hard <laughs> if, I, if i wanted to role play she would have just disengaged and went down but because i don't want to um does that mean i can hit things Yes, you just need to get up. Can I like sneak attack on this thing? We're all yep. around it, so yes. yes. Absolutely. Yes, I'm gonna sneak attack it. <laughs> Funny way to step, step. Or... Step, 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 step. Step. You know what, fuck it. Yeah, I know for a fact it's not gonna Hold make on. it. Hold on, hold on. It's a 17. It's not gonna make yeah. it. 17. But you're flanking, so it's 19. Oh, it's 19. That's what I mean. Yes, you shouldn't just give up on rolls. So yeah. Especially rolls that are pretty decent. <laughs> 17 is not a bad one. Oh, no. <laughs> yes, so 1d8 plus 5d6 plus 3. Okay. So I'm gonna add the three first and then the three. Where are these lapis crits? I need to see her going right up I its know. butthole. Oh. Right up its butthole. Why are any of our crits? Yes. I feel like it's been so long. Three is gonna get one soon, don't worry. That would be no, hours. Hours. <laughs> 25. Damn it. How An exclusive 25 hour. Let's go. 25. 25? Yeah. Okay, new one coming down. As she just like sticks her rapier into it and just like, I don't know, swipes up or whatever. <laughs> She's just very annoyed. It's only resistant to resistant to non-magical piercing slashing bludgeoning. Resist this. That matters at later levels. Mm-hmm. Aha, uh-huh, Devin, let's go. Uh, hold on. That's why anti-magic field exists. That's 23. Because oh, yeah. matters a lot. <laughs> Hit it. That's another four. Uh, yeah, nice. Good shit. Uh, 25 and 4, 29. Mm-hmm. Good shit. I guess not magical with those two. Oh, sorry. She punches it from the head. Mm-hmm. Oh. Uh, that brings us to uh, Trey, who is automatically stabilized to 1. Is it? Yeah. You feel the warm yeah. light of Halo wash over you. <laughs> I look and I see the thing. Oh, for the. For that matter, uh, both of you have. Uh, sorry, I should have probably noted this earlier. Uh, four stacks of gold currently. Uh huh. <laughs> Which is an additional 48 plus per hit. Simply ground yourself first, please. It is worth the bonus. And action. I will. It definitely is. As I'm getting up, bonus action. And you just ways to chew up your action economy because there's so many. Yeah, I will. Uh, as I'm standing up really slowly, uh, will bonus action ground. Ground, yeah. So. Do you want to stand tray up? <laughs> uh, and. Right. In, in absolute agony. Just. The beacon that carries the light. Slowly pull the sword up. With all the energy that I have left, and I would just swing. Mm-hmm. For the half that bears the flame. 22. Hits. And I can define smite at 
Actually, what you've used. Oh no, you have. Never mind. Sorry. No, just ignore everything. Sorry. I rem I reminded myself of last session. Besting of is already off. Yeah. So that's six radiant damage. Six. So that's seventeen points of damage. Total. And then I will Awful. strike again. Oh, that's fucking cold. What the hell? Yeah, beautiful. Uh, twenty-five to hit. Twenty-five hits. Yeah. And I will once again divine smite. Blessed be Vorpal, king of storms and thunder. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> You'll make it get worse. Sorry, do you want to go back to zero hit points? Are you happy at one? Huh? 20, I'm happy at zero. A, a, a so another 20. Just 20 flat? Yeah. Good as shit. Why don't you just pray for Paylor to come in? If you thought the prayers for Paylor were insufferable. <laughs> when does your strength this motherfucker praying to different gods now? Turn the storm against your enemies. In Orin, I just... It's kind of like a really, like, bad yell in pain. Just... Do you uh, think you're gonna win? But you won't! And that's your uh, turn. Uh, oh, <laughs> and now it's its turn. Yes. <laughs> in response, it goes, bet. <laughs> All right, bet. Response, it wins. Um, you see it start to rotate faster and faster, spinning on its axis um, <laughs> as it picks up momentum, spinning faster and faster. Uh, I need everyone, everyone mm -hmm. around it to make me a, uh, this would be a strength saving throw. Ooh, Ooh, no, no, terrible. Awesome. You, you have like, a plus oh, five. No, okay. Five. Do I get up on my turn or? You get up on your turn, turn. yeah. Okay. Okay. So you automatically fail the oh, turn. And the guard will get a plus five, because that's <laughs> who's in my range. And, I like and, how the guard who you get a total of five minutes and has got the bonus Tealy for two has a, would, would Tealy have a plus five? The, I automatically fail. Oh, oh yeah, down. that's true. Is, I'm not close enough to the thing to be interesting. Like. No. Yeah, that's a I think Olivia's just racist against my characters. <laughs> um, <laughs> you worked for the order. Prove me wrong. Well, maybe this guard did too. Have you asked him? Hasn't been openly saying that they work with the order. So, so you're punishing honesty? You don't like honest people? I just don't like people who work for the order. Well, he might have worked for the order, he's just keeping it a secret. Uh, he's going to stab you in the back later. Sure, why not? <laughs> Domestic later, please. No, Montre had to mm. verify it when he took suicide. <laughs> yeah, it looks for like a tick, a <laughs> verification tick. It's like capture the little fucking in the order. Please take all the boxes um, to the back, Right. Uh, Tilly automatically fails a death save. Mm -hmm. um, what does that put you at? Uh, one fail, one success. Okay. Um, uh, what did you roll on the strength save? A 19. Uh, you take eight points of okay, go back down. bludgeoning, and you get knocked back <laughs> 10 feet that way. Uh, three. Seventeen points Ooh. of bludgeoning damage. Uh, and you get flung ten feet in the direction spacing. Ooh. Alright. I'm not grappled. Hooray. Uh, can one of you two move uh, <laughs> Vanta ten feet out? Please re relieve me of... Seventeen, was it? Mm -hmm. uh, you're also prone on the ground. Yeah, seventeen. Yeah, seventeen. Cool. Um, your, your order fail? Uh, sixteen. Uh, you take seven, so eight points of damage. Oh, okay, so it succeeded. Yes. Uh, you still get knocked back 10. But actually, do I get moved if I'm down? Yes. Yeah, yeah you will get moved. Yeah, sorry, mind. Uh, cool. uh, you take 17 points of damage yours. Is that And can you roll me a concentration check? Uh, and you get knocked. Uh, Solon gets knocked back 10. And what's yours? Five. Oh, She's down again. And you get knocked back 10. <laughs> uh, does it matter how like, much damage I get done? The... No. Or of light, or you can still die, but the start of the turn you'll still get back up. If he does enough damage to like insta kill you, that goes through all the way. Three fucking times, bro. She's gonna have a right wrench about this next time. I cannot believe. Oh, what about the guard? If she gets. Ah, the guard also gets knocked back in his prone. Oh, do we all fail our save? No, everyone got prone no matter what. Oh, really? Yeah. Everyone got prone, yeah. It's just whether you half damage or not. Um, it's just the personal space button. Guys, leave me alone. <laughs> um, You're in my bubble. 
I only started existing mere seconds ago. And if you failed the save, you gain a stack of jobs. Nice. I'm on Wait, fire and fail. I'm still dead. <clears throat> Yo, you get up. Not yet, no. It's... Oh wait, I'm you're down, down, right? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Do I still get no, jolt? Good. <laughs> I get knocked down. Wait, do I get yeah. jolt as well? If you fail the save, you get jolt, yes. What did you roll your save? Five. Yeah, yeah, you get a stack of jolt. I have a, a minus success. one to my save. I love here. that for you. <laughs> so who's um, down at the moment? Just because it's hard me. to tell. So you, you, you're okay. Tilly's about to down. get You're up. not down, you're not down. I will... Are you still up? Like, and you're still up and Aura's life's still up, cool. Um, in which case, Tilly just... It's Tilly's turn and Tilly's game comes back on one health. Are you gonna get up? What? Another thing I... Then I point the Staff of Fire as I'm getting up. And can I cast Fireball? <laughs> but I want to cast it up in the air enough that it doesn't touch any of us, but it touches the tornado because it should be tall enough. Sure. Yeah. So I deck save on that. How about they do a Tilly? <laughs> and then I use the Staff of Fire uh, to bring myself up. Wait, how many times have you been down? One. One, okay. Now, what save is this? Dex already? Dex. Uh, 21. It, that probably succeeds anyway, but um, does it use my DC or...? Uh, if the item will tell you. If it doesn't give you a DC, then it's your DC. Hmm. So it would succeed anyway. Um, Alright, next time Mappus gets up, she's disengaging. She's gonna just fucking get knocked down again. It just says spell save DC, it doesn't put it as a number. Spell save DC, Colin, nothing. And then it's. Then I will taste yours, DC. Okay. I have to go inside, by the way. Huh? I will take over combat for you if you would like me to. Yeah. It's just really simple. As soon as she gets up, just have her disengage and get away. I'll have her stay near Solomon though, Solomon though, because Solomon's what's getting you back up and down. Yeah, because she's either way, she's Solomon's not getting you down, I hope. Gets you as soon as she gets up, she's just knocked back down again. She's like, fuck. Oh. Uh, 10, that's already halved. Fire damage. Yep. Good shit. That puts us out bloodied. Mm -hmm. okay. That's good. Yeah, we have been doing a decent amount of damage. And I will say in Primordial, go back to your hellish plane. This isn't your world. Uh huh. Is that if someone replaces my um, mini with and, Oh, or yeah, I will get rid of my jolts because I have five. You do not want to be taking 5 v 8 extra hands for every year. Do you want to put that there? I can't reach. Jolt stack's got to collect more. <laughs> because... Okay, Jeff, I need something to represent up or down. Hmm? Mm. Or down with. Because she's got a character and she's going to be presumably flipping like a dice. Oh, well then use this as the mini. That'll be easier. That's... <laughs> um, you, you, can, you can give it to Jordan if you want, maybe we're I, mean, I, I would like to steal your stuff slowly over the next few years. Okay. <laughs> I'd like to make you homeless, eventually. <laughs> That's fine by me, to be honest. Character motivation. <laughs> yeah. um, I, I'm making Olivia homeless. Uh, Solomon 5. Solomon 5 rises. By the power of Paylor! Takes three turns for you to stand up. <laughs> I've said before that if he's on his back with no aids, he can't stand. <laughs> he's got his hammer this week. Backs himself over. Like he rolls onto his front and then onto his feet. That's why it takes him so much. Um, look, I'm gonna let you all know that you gotta be very careful because I've got very little left in, in terms of painting. Um, I've fought these things before, right? I know that Solomon's usual tactic of trying to grab it or trying to displace it isn't really going to do much, will it? There you go. It cannot be grappled, paralyzed, or petrified. Not prone? Nope. Yeah, that's what I thought. The king and Ed Solomon knows this? Hmm? Solomon knows? I would say, like, yeah, you've got enough of a... Like, as long as you have an intelligence above, like, 10... The uh, check? Looks like level 1 Torino. <laughs> so who's... Who's right around right, right, me? Who's on one hit point? Lapis is on one hit point. You're on one hit point. Lapis will be on zero hit points. Lapis okay, will so be on Lapis, one hit point. Yeah, so one, one, one. I'm just trying to map out where I have to put myself so people don't die really, really fast. Just close to the thing, honestly. If you stand where it's standing. Yeah, I know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, everyone. He'll. Someone will move around. As far away from here. as possible. 
Um, I think that'll get. <laughs> no, just, yeah, he's not helping Barter in a hurry at the moment. He'll move around to there. Um, um, this is spooky, spooky, scary skeletons, as they say. The spookiest. Mm. And he will take a swing at the thing. Oh, he'll ground himself. I've got one stack of jobs. Did you fail reset? So I failed the pushy thing there. Yeah, then you got one stack of job. That's a 17 to hit. Uh, just misses. It's <sighs> cunning. I haven't got anything else that can do with that. Bugger. Oh, uh, that's in my turn. Uh -huh. Ooh. I'd like to sort of... Sorry, 17 hits. My bad, sorry. Oh, 17 17 hits. Hits. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, in which case... Sorry, I'm so sorry. That's okay, I'm just trying to... Many numbers. Uh, Might be it's a 9 points of damage. Um, um, 9 points of damage. And it's armor class degraded by 2. What was the term you used? Uh, Sunders. Sunders, and it is Sunders. Ooh! It's got, a, it's got an arm class of 15 now. I'll just let you know for You see, as as the rune on his hammer goes... And then I have to flavor this. Like, the the hammer collides with the elemental, but then it like tears through it, um, leaving, like, not like a gaping wound, but like this like, so it's, spot it's of vulnerability. It's quite as solid. It's more yeah. wispy. Uh, She's got an arm class of 15. Uh, uh, I know. Know. I know. I know. So I'll start rolling up. Uh, Devon's going <laughs> to... And I'll turn. Who's next? Me. Uh, the up, up, I get up. up, I walk, I walk, and I kill. Oh. I walk, I walk, I kill. I kill. Oh, do not I kill. do not kill. That's a 12. <laughs> oh, even with the thunder. God. Perfect D&D. &D. Rolls a death save. Who? The God. No, God is no the one HP. True. Silly. Why the light of peril? He gets up. Oh, gets knocked down. Gets up again. Walks over and takes two swings at this boy. Does he remember to grab his jolt? <laughs> he doesn't know about it. He doesn't know. About it. Respect the he, shit out of this man. Well, he hit and crit. So I also respect the shit out of this man. Hit and crit. So what are we at at the moment? God. Italian. I don't like to stray. Some of those pretty stupid. This is as lovely as that is. It's really fucking hard to read. Yeah. <laughs> From the other end. Yeah. 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 So it's off the tray, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Twenty. He just did twenty-nine <laughs> points of damage in one turn. Damn. Putting this thing below one hundred points. Um, that brings us to anyone got power word kill? Give me a minute. Can <laughs> um, you get enough? Okay. I'll stand up. <laughs> um, I will go. Uh, do I lose half my movement rounded down or up? Rounded down, so you lose okay. fifteen feet. Of okay, good. Then I can make it to the next to the black token. Awesome. Um, now, Just windy, <laughs> the fact that it's extraordinarily windy hurts range attacks, but is that only if it goes further than five feet? Because if it's like point blank, is the wind really going to affect it if it's point it's blank? It's buffeting all range attacks. Even if it's point blank? Yes. This is, yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Um, then I will not do that and I will just unfortunately use my... Scimitar. While no, while elements English. of this combat are made, made to enhance your like get over difficult terrain features, it's also designed to fuck with your ranged That's features. True. <laughs> um, okay. okay, real man with a sharpshooter. Well, yeah, that's right. I was going to sharpshooter <laughs> if I didn't have to have disadvantage. Um, okay, eighteen to hit. I hit. Sick. Boink, 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 boink. Boink, 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 boink. Uh, mm -hmm. god damn, I'm rolling fucking garbage today. Uh, 14 points of damage. Uh, yeah. Second strike, necrotic damage. Second strike. Mm -hmm. Uh, 25 to hit. Yeah. Uh, that's... 17 points of necrotic damage. Yeah. 
and dagger, uh, dagger, 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 dagger. Oh, that one will hit 27 to hit. Yeah. yeah. And that is. Uh, ten points of uh magical That's piercing. That's pretty good. Oh, yeah, uh, Lapis would get up, I Stick. assume, with one HP <clears throat> and disengage. Yeah. So, well, she uses a bonus action to, well, she'll attack, use her bonus action to disengage, and then run off. Okay. Yeah. So she'll take one attack. Hey. Hi. For uh. Yeah, that will just hit. 1d8, 5d6, 5 so that's so bad on damage. Holy shit. You know Thea's philosophy, or Thea's very concerning philosophy, if I pay for the whole spit on it, I'm going to use the whole spit on it. Mm. Yours? Yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> you've got the inverse of that, you've got like a d12, and you're like, you know, I think I'm really happy with these lower numbers. They were, I was familiar with them from the d4s, I'll stick there. What are you talking about? Bad roll. You roll you roll small number on big dice. Oh, I see what you're saying. Thank you for making me explain it. <laughs> if you think more than a d6 scares me. <laughs> I'll just stick to what I know. I refuse to roll higher than a six. <laughs> and Lapis legs it presumably yeah, Lapis. behind yeah. Solomon? <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Uh, that was to Trey. Mm-hmm. That's going to be Lapis on one health, and Trey is also on one health. Yep! Here we go again! Here we go again. I'm getting knocked down. Good song, that. Yeah, yeah. Once about, again, you knew it hidden... Because you said you knew the band. Yeah, I do know the band. I don't remember having that conversation. <laughs> it was one of them. It was one of those... I think it was Train or something else. I do know Train very well. It was um, it's Hey Soul Sister, that was it. Once again, just like the immediate, just coughing as the life comes back into her again. Blood well, I just for the unpleasantness. And gets up. Divine if I enter was... difficult ter- terrain, does that affect my attack rolls? No, it doesn't. Half your speed. Okay, well. For that block of movement, so it just takes double movement. Yeah, so that would be the rest of my movement to get there. And as I'm moving. Once again in Oren, I go, you who seek to ravage out this town and cause pain to all within it shall now suffer like I do. And I'm going to swing. Ooh, that's an 11, so that's not going to hit. Swing again. That's a 15. Hits. 15 hits. Um, it's a good boon, isn't it? Oh god. May I bonus I action? He degraded um, the armor class by two. Would I be able to bonus action hammer. harness divine power to get like a spell slot back before? Don't you need to channel divinity to do that? It nope. just yeah, says it's harness it's divine power. It has it, to. It needs like, channel divinity. If you read the thing, it says you can use a channel divinity Boo. to harness divine power. That's stupid. That's fine then. I'm just. Fuck you, Jeremy Crawford. Fuck you. Why do you have yeah, Why do you have the blank <laughs> slots there <laughs> if I can't you, use Jeremy them? Yeah, yeah, it doesn't. Yeah. It's annoying because yeah. it doesn't. It doesn't map between actual uses of divine. That is. Divine. British people ten. in general are just insufferable. As far as yeah, ten points of damage. Ten. Cool. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was waiting for like the additional damage for the divine smite to roll. In. Yeah, I can't. Where's... I don't have any spell slots left. She's out of juice. <laughs> D. So like, how many of us have used up all their spell slots? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I've, got, I've got some first level slots. Okay. But we're pretty pretty good. Wait, have you got any? Jeff got tons. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. <laughs> I've still got like most of my second levels, I, third I, and the fourth. Uh, I didn't use my bonus action. Hang on. <clears throat> oh, but I don't have fucking spell slots. Hang on. <laughs> I've already just been concentrating on things uh, yeah, that kill forever. And like, yeah, I can't do anything else. So. Exactly. I guess that's it. What's the maximum spell you time. can create at the moment? Fifth. You can create fifth level spells. Yeah, I can cast a fifth level spell and then like just make another one. That's respectable shit. And then I can sacrifice all four of my second level spells and a first level spell to make a third. Um, so, uh, so, so what's it doing? Uh, yes, that me brings us to it. 
uh, disengaging. What? And flying sixty feet straight up. Sorry, ninety feet straight up. Which means within range. <laughs> At disadvantage. Yeah. Yeah, but it's at disadvantage now anyway. Yeah. So fuck it. Oh, yeah, it just flies ninety feet straight up. So I'll take that. We are not balancing it on these. Hey, what? what? Up? Ooh. We only need three of them. It's so convenient. <laughs> We're ready to go. Um, I'm looking into buying some of those fly- uh, riser things. Um, Tilly, can you hit it? <laughs> yes. The answer is yes. Resounding yes. How long does the degradation of the armor last? Just the turn? Minute. Oh, it lasts a minute? So it has 15 for probably the rest of the combat. Sick. Unless we start chasing it on the airship. Can't see that gun around all. That is a pretty cinematic fucking battle. As you chase it and it flies away. Pew, 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 pew. Look, as soon as the airship gets involved, this thing goes down by Ingrid's hand. Yeah. <laughs> Undoubtedly. <laughs> Wait. It's, it's that, it's that, it's not even a question. It's, it's that video with Putin walking and every time he turns, he gets wider, but it's Ingrid. Ingrid walks down the street. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so whose turn is it? Tilly? You are on one hit point. Right. <laughs> uh, you mean, you mean thank you? Great. You're start rolling death saves, huh? <laughs> oh, wait, why am I not on one here? Yeah, that's what happens with the mobile one. You have to, like, put in health twice and then take it away okay. it's yeah it yeah, works in mysterious ways travel it is beyond me halo made the dnd beyond that yeah that's why you've got positive hit points yeah this um, episode of dice dice revolution was sponsored by halo light up your life with his life the oh. followers and slave people kills a town they bring you here and yet you still realize that you weren't strong enough and you run. Um, I would like to cast Vicious Mockery. Yeah. 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 Isn't that a creature within 60 feet? Yes. Didn't you say that? No, it's 90. 90. 90. Sorry. I realize it's yeah, fly, it's, fly it's, speed is way further. It is okay. fast. I can't really do much at all then. Shoot You got a short bow? I do, but that's shit. Yes, yeah, sir. With divine you don't worry. Worse. Just get it low enough that I can finish it off and look cool. Okay. Let what me we, take. What are we? All of the. I'm things. taking all the glory. <laughs> we don't remember how. Oh no, I don't know. Just on. Hmm. Oh, we'll see. Maybe we get lucky. Hmm. What? Someone Do really I needs to invest in like, dimension door into the air and stab it on the way down. No, I would fall and die, but then just keep resting. Yeah, <laughs> hit the ground. Shouldn't you like die instantly from fall damage? Yeah. I don't think you have the max HP for that. Ninety-six. Uh, yeah, I could Bitch die move. pretty easily. Bitch move. I'll pick you oh, up. Just land here. <laughs> Bro doesn't have any spell slots from Dimension Door anyway. You're on one health if you fall. It's 49. No, the thing is, I want to use the stuff for fire, but that would bring it to zero charges, and then it has a chance of breaking. That's okay. Yeah. You don't need but it. Then it's only a five percent chance of breaking. Yeah. I mean, this what would be. A, it would be a good way to, right, to, to, to suddenly you. realize that you're more scared of fire. Yeah. Good way to end the campaign if it blows up. <laughs> the character growth, that'd be great. It'd be great. No, it only crumbles into cinders, it doesn't explode. Oh, sorry, I'm thinking of a different thing. That's yes. the fucking star. Mm-hmm. Okay, I, I would like yeah. to cast Fireball. Yes. Fireball? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Can you Dex. reach 90 feet? It's yeah, 150. Dex save. Sure. I know it's big. It's it is it is 21. It's actually 19 on the save. Okay, it still succeeds. It's a weebly boy. It it's a weird boy. Wait, actually, I might. Should I roll whether the staff explodes first? No. No, you roll gotta down roll the dash first. It's a weird boy. That is a nice roll. Nice roll. 35 halved is 18. 17. 17. 17. 17. 17. Yeah. 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 See, that's crazy. I'll tell you why in a second. Ah. But, <coughs> anything else? Um, Does it explode? You have to roll a 1 on a d20, is that what it is? Yes. Come on, Raid. Come on, Raid. I'm going to... 
Okay. Like, it still exists. Woohoo! It still exists. It still yeah. exists. We're absolutely ready to be scared. Back when there's just Solomon. <laughs> Solomon. Bye. This thing still looks like it's gone. It will probably keep running away unless you apprehend it. Mm. Really need to invest in a central feet between us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Solomon looks up and he's trying to shield the rest of you and say get back into the middle of this. Is, is the tower that Actually, we're on Actually, I'll give Solomon a body consideration. Yeah! It's still structurally stable. It is pretty structurally stable. For now. The Solomon rest of the everybody is a musical. Return. It's designed to we'll see if we can. I doubt we will be able to bring this thing for peace. I can't do it. Get back inside, stay safe. That being said, and he raises his war hanger up with his guiding bolt. That's a five plus a six plus my guiding bolt thing, which is like plus seven, is more than fifteen. Yeah. Am yeah, I right? Nice. Eleven. Yeah. Cool. It takes, nice. The body helps instantly. It takes what is that? Nine, ten, thirteen damage. Radiant. Thirteen. Radiant. And it's shining. And it's shining. And the thing glitters. Glittering, twirling whirlwind. Sorry. Banta. If you would be so kind. Well, I think Banta might waste it. I'm going to waste it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. So I'm going to... I'm going to... throw a fucking sort rock of at it. <laughs> point at it. Kill. And the shadow just... Phew. <laughs> oh, that starts terrifying. Uh... With a 22 to hit. Oh, <laughs> holy! That was an advantage. Um, nice. And it takes 14 plus 9, so 23 damage. How does your shadow do this? Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. What was the spell? It was, um, it was just the chill touch cantrip. <laughs> you fell this great beast with a camper. Yeah, yeah, you know it. How do you do it? How does, how does the shadow do it? Um, so this shadow sort of reaches up, grabs it, and then just brings it back down to the earth, just slamming it down. And I just stab all the protrusions of my wings into it, just bleh. <laughs> And then I kneel down. Um, as uh, you do so, can I get everyone to draw me a constitution saving throw? Uh, Tywin? <laughs> God! <laughs> They're the ones within range. What is it? Con Ten? save. Nat one. Uh, Eleven. <clears throat> 24, 19. 18. Okay. Well. Did you roll on for lapis? Yes, I roll on for lapis. She succeeds. Good, good. Um, and then the guard fails. With the plus five? Yes. Um, actually, you do not need to roll one, and I don't think you do either. Oh. As uh, the, as the wind yes. picks up and gets begins starting to get sucked out of you, not that it entirely matters. If you failed the save, which is uh, if you rolled below a seventeen, oh. uh, if you rolled below a seventeen, the air gets start it get, starts being pulled out of your lungs. But um, the but, but the aura of life stops you from dying completely and brings you back to one health. So uh, if you failed the save, you are in one health now. What would it have done? Uh, killed you outright. <laughs> oh. But, or not killed you outright, but like, brought you to zero. zero. Yeah, put you to zero. Like, if, no matter what, how much health Instant you have. Instant death. Yeah, no, no, no matter how much health you have, we'll just put, 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 put you to zero. Points. Holy shit. <laughs> feels, yeah, horrors of hideous sucking coldness. Yeah, you just hear your lungs collapse. Yeah, like you it's feel like you're with silence because there's no air. It's, it's doing it again. I, I saw it last time. <laughs> And the storm starts to swing. But yeah, it's um, <coughs> Gentle glowing warmth returns. The sun shines through the clouds? Yeah. Fuck oh, yes it does! Fuck oh, yes it does! In the name of Paylor, <coughs> and in the stead of 
Dalek, Doctor, Doctor, Vocal, Vocal. My boy, my favorite, my main man. I banish you from this plane. So be it. Is everyone still alive? <clears throat> With a very clutch casting of Aura of Life. Yeah, that, that was kind of like. That had gone down. Immortality, if you would be like. That had gone down, I could have saved uh, two people now and stopped one person from dying, maybe. <sighs> what the fuck was that? I can't even remember why we were here. We are here to help, as always, Is Tywin. The cake still under Mission you? accomplished. Oh, that reminds me. We and I'd like, yeah, can I, can I walk over to Tywin? We save oh. people with this tail. The cake is still cool. I'd like to cast Searing Smite. <laughs> <laughs> and hit the shit out of the tape of the cake, like just grab him and just start just trying to beat it off. Just start trying if to you beat. inflict damage to the cake, you're inflicting damage upon Tywin. I don't know that. Yeah. Horror of life is still up. <laughs> no, it's not. I cast Thrones Might. Oh. You'll be right, Mike. I haven't completed on expecting it, so you can do with advantage if you want. I think I'll still hit. What's your, your what's 16 is my AC. Uh, uh, 8 and 7. No, I missed by 1. Mm -hmm. there you go. So you I'll take advantage. Yeah. Thank God. There you go. <laughs> he just starts trying to. This is why you do not make deals with the Fae. How much damage does it do? Uh, it does. Uh, five and six, so uh, eleven damage. I'm knocked out. And you're also on fire. <laughs> <laughs> and you're also on fire. Does the cape burn? Is the important question. No, the cape just like holds the fire. Damn it, Solomon! What? Oh, he'll be fine. Let me get this stupid thing off him before that damned ant turns up again. Can I show you? Pour out the potion of healing and just give time the potion I'll of healing. pick him up in a minute. I'm already doing it. Very well. Move away. Now. As you wish, Captain. I will see to him afterwards. Uh, six. Six HP. Yeah. You're done, Mark. <clears throat> Maybe can't save. <laughs> uh, I'm close enough to try, so 15. You take another 5 points of fire damage. <laughs> 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 I moved away, it's still on this I, I stopped, drop, and roll. Oh, yeah, very well. You opened the fire up. That's yeah. satisfactory to put it out, it's all the drops concentration. <laughs> Is the cape still there? Yeah. And untarnished? Uh, there seems to be a little soot on it. That doesn't stay on it. Uh, heaven help me. I will have words with you in terms of Dante. And you after this. Don't bother. Otherwise... I'm just ignoring you, I'm just in my own little space, conversing with my shadow. I must congratulate you all on surviving that ordeal. It was a respectable fight. And in the service of a good deed. To be fair to us, we didn't kill anyone. That thing fucking did. I do seem to remember you were almost dismembering that priest. How about I know where to aim. I will concede that it was not us that brought them to their end. <clears throat> um, as the storm continues clearing up, uh, yeah, that like, kind of like those god rays of sunlight start basking down on the entire town um, through the clouds here and through. Praise Baylor. The thing is, we still don't Praise have me. anything that caused this. <laughs> you don't sense the irony in my statement. You None just... whatsoever. <laughs> Tywin, mm -hmm. uh, in the midst of all of this, uh, whenever you're not like directly in conversation, you have these flashes of vision as from the point of view of someone walking through town. You look around yourself and you see like, you know, the limbs and the visage of Nemesis just walking through this town and talking to the townsfolk. Um, and basically he's showing you like a montage of everyone who's 
house has been ruined, whose livelihoods have been ruined, who've lost, lost family members, justifying basically your vet need for vengeance. And he's just showing you like, you know, like this like young boy who's lost his sister, who's basically just impaled on like this wooden pike, uh, like this shard of wood, um, and just yeah, like just going around town showing you like various different, very fucked up, um, and like angering things. So who is responsible for this? What do we know about it's the that? thing? We're still gonna anything, pretty much. We were just called to an emergency and. No one would give us information. We just came across like four people. Like, <clears throat> could just four people do all of this? Actually, I'm gonna go down towards the edge and look for the priest that fell down. Make a perception check. 14. She is gone. Gone, gone, like zap, or gone, blown away? We don't know. Gone, left, like run away. Do I see footsteps? Yes. But like. I'll they keep a note to track those. Right? The footsteps are there, but they're very faint and rapidly vanishing. Like they will not stay. Rapidly vanishing. But because of because the wind's still dying down, like they're just getting blown over by dust and stuff. In that case, I'm gonna run to try and follow them. Okay. I, I I'm gonna follow since it's survival based stuff. It's the one that fell down. Hmm? She ran away. Careful. Can I make a survival check? So you go down the tower? Yep. Okay, make a survival check. Can I... Can this, I, this will be with the disadvantage as well. Can I help with my... We're, we're in a city, right? Um, this is a civilized city. I think we did say last session. We like, did we'll, say last session it wasn't. It wasn't? That it didn't count like as your favorite train. Okay. In which case, just roll a flat survival check with the advantage from... And yep. the disadvantage from... Okay. Do, um, do, uh, come on. Uh, 14. Unfortunately not. Like even in just the time that it takes you to run down the tower, like the the, the the still like turbulent winds have started like dusting over the town. Shit, it's all that shit. Yeah. Footsteps don't last very long with songs. Yeah. Can I go up to the guard and see how he's doing and take the tray with me if she will? I assume it was one of you that has brought me back from the brink several times. It was in thank not us, but the Lord of Light. Paylor comes to aid Warhol. Right. Um thank you for your assistance. Um I would not be here if not for you. Um I don't think any of you noticed that yeah, like as Devin said, Lapis just slinks back of the ship. Um, thank you for your assistance, it means a great deal. Can you tell us what has happened here? Uh, about, about a week ago, uh, these four individuals, the ones that we fought today, um, approached our temple and uh, claimed they were from uh, a neighboring, well not a neighboring, but another um, prestigious uh, temple of Volca, and given that uh, we did inquire into their, st uh, into their story contacting um, the individuals they mentioned, but um, I assume that the entire show is corrupt, uh, the, the entire facade was corrupt all the way down to all the uh, alibis, and so we in invited them in, they uh, engaged in our rituals, helped us expand and build, helping the members of the town even. After a while, they started showing their true colors, pushing for uh, agendas that our matriarchs would not agree to. And this morning, in a show of violence, they uh, hurt and killed all of the matriarchs and took the aspire for themselves um, and began this ritual that you managed to stop um, in some detail. I'm not too sure I'm specific to myself. I, uh, I'm a volunteer here, uh, but without your actions, I don't think I would be alive right now. Uh, so I have 
I owe a life text to you all. Do you know they worked for any organization, temp other temple? Uh, other temple you mentioned? Yes. Um, but they said it was like a prestigious temple of all cow, so. And apparently it's corrupt all the way down the bottom. So that we wouldn't actually know what it actually is, most probably. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, I, we, yes, we don't know any about, I, well, I personally do not know about any affiliation they had, and I didn't handle, well, I didn't interact with them myself until they bewitched me with their charm, uh, charms, and kept me around as a servant, I guess. Um, I am in deep repent for if any of my actions have caused hurt on the civilians of this town. And no and amount of your actions. No amount of goodwill or <clears throat> otherwise will atone for what I have done. The world knows what evil magic can do to the mind. You are not at fault for this. As it stands, there is much devastation to repair. And I will not rest until the people of this town can rest safe. Indeed. I would appreciate if you were available, should we need to verify this story. Of course. We have some form of connection with the authority of this City, I believe it wise that we report the incident to them in full. Of course. What is your name? Um, uh, my name is Raefi, uh, R A E F I. And I have served here for the better part of three, three, three and a half years now. And we have been um, a shelter, a provision of sorts for those without, but we have never seen anything like this. No, your entire city has been transported twice between planes, I am sure this is hardly another fact. And all the same, you have done a great service to Dorpo today, in aiding us courageously did not run from the beast as it descended. You have done the best you could to serve. I thank you for it. Um, anyone with a passive inside of like 13 or higher can tell like this guy is suffering from basically like PTSD. Mm -hmm. What with like the, like the actual clerics of this place being like tortured and murdered, yeah. his uh, or he, him being charmed, his allies being charmed, he is in shell shock. And do you know where any of the other guards went? Um, there was three originally. One died out here. There was two one in the went stairs. Upstairs. Uh, you do not know where the third guard went. One died. One was with you. You don't know where the other one is. You have to work for powerful people to be able to do all this. I can indeed see your criticism of those with power, Hunter. To see what those four sorceresses, those false heralds, could bring to bear upon the populace. In the name of a god they did not worship. Everywhere I go I see it. It's a plague. There is no end to it. We will not let it last. It is my dream. He kind of trudges <laughs> off. Um, and after like about 10 minutes of just like kind of recovering, he heads off into the wider, wider town and just starts 
helping people up, investigating houses, reporting people in. Before he goes, Solomon lays his his hand on his shoulder once again. In the life of Palo, we thank you for your service. I bless you. And he uses his final spell slot to give him a healing word. You again, seven hit points. Um, yeah, he just comes up each time and just starts like checking in on houses, making sure everyone has enough like food to tie them over for the next few days. If not, he makes sure to bring some rations out. Um, and he starts rallying the able body to help him as well. Um, is there anything else you would like to do? Um, how many people would like to serve for to safety? Uh, let's do now. it. <laughs> one. One. Yes. One. <laughs> that one human. The whole time he was spending, uh, he was just trying to grab someone through the door of their house, but he can't go in. <laughs> um, smashing through windows. <laughs> Come with me. I am. Hello. I am Victor. <laughs> like hello. Yeah, he grabbed. On, he grabbed. Attack on Titan esque. He's just peeking through, like a crack in the. Yeah. The like, house is on fire, but they have no clue whether <laughs> to stay in the flaming house or <laughs> run towards this giant tree. Um, probably flaming tree because he walks <laughs> through the fire. To get Do you to go him. find Victus? Um. Yeah. Okay. You ask him how many people he saved. Yeah. Um. I saved Victus. And he just says Victus 36 times. Oh, yeah! Victus. 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 That, that's a, that's I, a I love how he's getting them. it so sweet. Uh, yeah, he saved 36 Victuses. It's a lot of Victuses you've saved. Well done. I love we Victus. We should get some rest. Victus. And he just heads back into town and continues helping. <laughs> okay. Um. Going. He pats you on the head as well. Little Victus. <sighs> you can't let him die now. You, I, I, see, I've gotten you attached to him, and now you can't let him die. I'm so good at it. He's so good at it. He's so good at it. Little Victus. And he just heads back into town. Like he didn't take, like he took like minor damage, like little yeah. scrapes and like from the debris and stuff. But he just continues like helping people. He's Can you like, imagine if he broke a limb thanks to the wind. That'd be so sad. I know. So sad. Yeah, he just continues helping people. Do you want to take a short rest? And rest the <laughs> I'm town? gonna like stagger my way to the stairs and just like hold yeah. onto the wall and think... just like. <laughs> Solomon's looking. Not nearly as damaged. You know what? I'm too tired. I'm just gonna climb on Victus and follow him. <laughs> Solomon's looking not, not like damaged. Not you really notice at this point. Sorry, sorry to interrupt you. But every time Victus saves someone, he just says, "Have a Victus day." <laughs> Have a Victus day. Bye. Have a Victus day. And yeah, any, like, uh, like, uh, like, uh, after another ten minutes, he was. And then he just like counts out like he just says Victus like forty seven times, forty seven Victus. Well, he doesn't actually say forty seven, but like he says 40, Victus forty seven times. Save thirty six people. He just said have a nice day. Have a Victus day. Have a nice day. There, like, he, helps, like, a, he helps like a he helps like a um, cat out of a tree and he's like. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and, 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 to, and he reports that back to you and he says, Saved Fluffy Victus from Victus. Oh. <laughs> very good. Um, yeah, and like he just, like as long as like he has hit points and like you don't like physically stop him, he just goes around saving people. You've got a lawful good tree friend. Good. Right. Great. Lawful good. <laughs> I a tree friend. I thought you were allergic to wood, bitch. They friend a refrigerator or something. <laughs> no, for Solomon it would be a toaster or a flashlight. <laughs> My joke was going to be like, oh yeah, teal but That <laughs> too. If you let me... Oh, I don't have a thousand dollars. If I had a thousand dollars and access to the awaken spell, I would undoubtedly awaken like a, the fridge on the airship. <laughs> it only works on plants and animals. That's why I, if I had access to the awaken spell, it was a dream. Solomon yeah. dreams of electric sheep. <laughs> 
uh, awakens a toaster. Um, but yes, I, I assume everyone wants to take a short rest. Yeah. You're, sure. If you would like, you're entitled to a long rest as well. But is there anything else we need to do now? Are we, to just, are we able to get to the ship and like? Yeah, that was already wrong. I was gonna say just have them, have them swing it over. Yeah. We, use, they, they we landed use up. sending. We use the sending stones, but those have more than one use. I thought the ones that go to the ship. Nope. nope. Yeah, that's just sending stones just embedded into the ship. You used our sending bud <laughs> to get angry. <laughs> It's very valid. I wouldn't have had them kill yeah. priests if they were in them. Yeah. If I see people going back to the ship, I'll be like, all right, Victors, you've helped like 60. Victors is now, it's time to go back to the ship. Victors. 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 Victors counts to 60. Ah, once he yeah. reaches 100, he just starts calling it a Mega Victors. Yeah. And then he goes Mega Victors and then Victors. So that's 101. Like a metric system yeah. for Victus's. How many fingers does Victus have on the chain? Uh, four. So we should be base eight. Shouldn't we? Hey, he doesn't do it by. He doesn't need to count on his fingers. He, he just counts out loud. Just, yeah. He just counts in Victus's. Yeah. yeah. When, when, he reaches, when he thinks he's reached a sufficient number of Victi, um, he just stops. <laughs> yeah, he just goes on to Mega Victus. Well, and yeah, we should probably long rest in the ship if we can. That's yeah. Once we get to the ship, just we short rest, we're just gonna go and get ourselves killed. Oh, we. Yeah. <laughs> Pon seeing you like hurting really bad. You're gonna come up. Okay. Can Can I help? I think I just need to rest. <clears throat> I can help some. It's fine. If. I can't give you a health potion. I do not need your help. It's okay. It's technically not mine. No. Nope. I got Me. it from the cultists. Definitely not. <laughs> Thank you for offering that. And then I will go and find Rosalind. And just kind of like stagger into the doorway. Captain, I... <laughs> Come on. And she just kind of like pops you up on her shoulder and just takes you to your quarters and then... We have to leave. I'll get the ship. Please. We'll get some rest. We'll just hover in the air. We'll go back to... We'll go back to the main town. Oh, no more air. We're done with that shit. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get back up in the air. Is everyone okay here? Yeah, we're fine. We had a bit of a scare, as I said, but... Nothing the crew can't handle. Where's Sigmund when we need him? Can you and the crew convert the airship into a tunnel port, please? <laughs> I have like <laughs> I have like one thing I want to do before the session ends, but it requires me to be in the town, so I don't think we're going to be able to do it. But that's oh, okay. Oh, wait, you, can, you can stay. That's just her idea. You can just be like, fuck no, off. No, no, like in the main town. Oh, that's yeah, what I mean. Like, oh, it's, we're not very far from us. Well, you know, if no one has anything else they want to do, we can just speed yeah. run to the town and we can do that thing and then we can yeah. call it a session. And Solomon will send off a runner, is all. So once again, get old Alethil saying the wandering stars. You will be there faster than Alethil will be there. there you go. So like, then the runner will be there. There you go. Yeah, like, like, the, like oh, no, you if are doing, If we're doing it in the town. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Okay, I understand. So, yes, yeah, like, you take a rest. I will roll for the crew. Yeah, short Would that be short rest? Um, I will say, like... It can be short rest. And no, short I, I, will, rest I will say you get a long rest. Yeah. I will say I'm you get trying to long rest. No, I will say you get a long rest because like the crew can handle most things, and like if you tell Rosalind that you want to run a sent out, she will just do it for you. Like but they it's, are. It's, it's only like five minutes back to the. No, it's not. It's like a bit more than five minutes. Oh, it was fifteen minutes on the airship. That was it. It wasn't long enough. But, um, so I'm short it's rest. Like, you get some trouble for it. But yeah, you all have enough time to get a long rest, and then like Rosalind can handle some basic stuff for you. Cause yeah, once we, what time would it be when we get back to the uh, like main town? Like here's the thing, right? Like it was early in the day, so like one p.m. is now. It's like one p.m. now. Okay. Um, I kind of like walk out, still looking real rough, like. Even though I've rested and stuff, it's just not feeling too great. And I have like my jumper on that has like a whole bunch of kids writing and like drawings and stuff on it. 
and in my hand is two pieces of uh, two pieces of paper and I leave the ship and I'm not sure if it's specifically for one place or not but I've pulled out Sigmund's deciphered code and I'm gonna go try and find Sigmund so well you can I'm not exactly tell me if, yeah. it, if that sort of thing works yeah um roll me just a d20 it's a seven okay um once you have long rested you spend about an hour or so checking like the place that you, you know um uh like that the code decide with you to um but um yeah like and eventually uh you come to like this cd like basically like dive bar place and um you walk in and you're like you're looking around and you don't notice Sigmund and you're just like sitting there you know at like in, in the corner like in, in like a booth and you're like I know oh, no, I will walk up to the bar front <clears throat> excuse me um yeah, I can help you I was wondering if Sigmund's end of the fourth was available. Depends on that. Depends who's asking. <laughs> <laughs> Small localized explosion from one of the booths. <laughs> What's that? <Andy? laughs> stop trying. Stop trying out your micro booze in my tavern. I, I told Giraffe that it was the green one, but he had. Oh, that is the green one. Okay, you did everything right. That was my bad. That's coming off your tab, mate. Yes, yes, add it to the list. I always do. Trey, is that you? I kind of just like walk over and it looks like I go for a hug, but then I kind of stop because I'm not sure what to do. And just clutching like the papers in my hand. (sighs) Sigmund, I'm... I, I don't feel well. You you are sick, are you? I think so. I see. That is not good. Take a seat, please. You I notice see. that Sigmund has a full beard. Yeah. Um, like, before it was, like, a cl- pretty close, but now it is significantly down and quite pointy. Um, eyebrows have been, like, taken care of now and are sharper, you know? Like, he's he's... Everything is well, relatively well trimmed, um, but there are like I mean he or, he always has burn scars on his face. There are more mm-hmm. now, um, and even like a really dark one that you can just see peeking out of the top of the, the leather jacket. Mm-hmm. Um, and giraffe is uh, now has some gold strips along the neck, uh-huh. little, little like rings of gold, just pe- on, on a pattern down the neck. Sit, sit. What is it that you uh, are feeling? What are your uh, symptoms, are as the books able call them? To hide this. It, it's kind of a thing I have to, I think, show you. It, my back, really hurts. Your back. Yeah. Well, if you don't mind, I can take a look. And like, I kind of like turn around. The like this being the sort of place it is has like. Kind of like similar to like, you know, like train cart carriages where it has like those little like, kind of like paper thin like things you can slide across. Oh yes, giraffe will stretch out a second. <laughs> yeah. Um, I pull up the jumper and you see starting from like the base of the neck, there's like one thick scar that kind of sprouts out into multiple tiny scars that just cascade all the way down the back. So it's like quite thick, and then as it grows out, it gets really thin, and it looks like they just expand. And it's just like, I, <clears throat> it happened yesterday, yesterday, today, what even is time? I rested, I thought it would help, but it just, it hurts. I don't, does it hurt when I press here? A little... Tender? Mm-hmm. 
Well, uh, was there anything uh, that interacted with your skin here at, at the time? Did, was this a burn? It's a lightning rod, I think. I see. Um, can I give it a give it a look, see? Um, to give my sure. best medical analysis. Roll me a Go. perception or a medicine check, and you can do so at advantage because this is literally your domain. Domain. Yeah. Nice. Um, okay. I couldn't find Sigmund for a second because I replaced his picture with a different AI generated picture and I lost Did it. You there you go. Okay. Uh, medicine. You'd be, you think I'd be better at it. <laughs> Just trying to match it up with one of your own burns. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not that one. Uh, 14. <clears throat> with a bunch? Yeah. He's still only a level 6 character. Um, <laughs> he didn't level up with everyone. Sad. You, I mean, yes, like, obviously, like, as she, she has admitted to you, this is a scar from lightning, but it's more than that. Um, you examine it for about a minute, and, like, imperceptibly, but you, to, to, imperceptible to the naked eye, but you notice that these like tendrils, this branching out tree, and you blink a few times just to make sure. But even in just the last few seconds, it's grown just a little. This, uh, does it feel, uh, uh, I mean, this, this, yeah, no. Does it feel like this is a, some sort of, uh, some sort of magical effect? Um, the scar itself... And I mean, it won't really do anything, but I'll, I'll use Identify just in case that helps on it. The scar itself is just a physical scar. Mm. Like, this, similar to the sort that you would get if you were struck by a really large uh, bolt of lightning. Um, but with the Identify spell, the growing nature of it is beyond natural. Um, this seems to be a... Sort of some sort of curse. Yeah, I thought so. Hmm. I have good news and bad news. Uh, the good news is that I have bad news, so it means I've figured out, uh, correctly assessed the damage in this situation. The bad news is that it is very bad news, and that bad news is that you seem to be somewhat cursed. If if you want this to be fixed, uh, I mean, perhaps I could do it over a long period of time, but frankly, I'm not the fastest person to do it. I am a, a, a battle on-site doctor, a first responder. Uh, I can ask around and see if there's anybody who is capable of removing curses, if you so choose. I still have contacts within the guild. Um, and another thing you've noticed with the 14 is Trey's hand has a very noticeable, both a tremor to it, and every so often it just spasms. And it's noticeable across the entire body, but especially like in the extremities, mm -hmm. where you have less like muscular control. I mean, he could ask, but I wouldn't trust them more than I would trust you. So... That is true. Well, for now, I splash you in the face with a potion that, like, completely just drenches all over, over your body. It's just a lesser restoration, so if you have any disease or some <laughs> shit that, that is helping you... Uh, it uh, temporarily uh, abates the spasming, okay. but it picks up after a while again. And, uh, while I'm here, I'm also going to just, like... I'm just like ho holding you in place, like checking your pupils and stuff, and then like I also just like with my thumb, like slowly open your mouth and pour another potion down, <laughs> and you you'll get bores endurance, have uh, bears endurance rather. I mean, you just see blacks, right? Because <laughs> yeah. that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, he, he looks. He goes. Hmm. For anyone else, I would say that's a major problem, but I traveled with you enough, Trey. I know. I know that those that is what you have for pupils. 
and uh, you get Bear's Endurance, so you also now have advantage on constitution checks and gain uh, 10 temporary hit points. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, this, but all of these are temporary measures that uh, will just help you to feel better now, but you, you would like me to try to look into ending a curse, or you do, you do not want me to find someone? I... I Unless you, say, you know, I, I do not know how your friend Solomon has progressed. Has he progressed to the point of being able to remove those? I don't remember. There's too much going on nowadays. I don't know. There's a lot going on. A lot of the time, the body degrades with the mind. So you must take care of that as well. That goes for you and all of your crewmates. I'll let them know. Are they all still okay? I think so. I don't think anyone's gone down since we were on the ship last. We've had plenty of close calls. That child that I saw while I was leaving. Yeah. She hasn't caused too much trouble. She looks like a troublemaker. She is a troublemaker, but she's, she's learning. She's quick. <laughs> Wonderful. I'm sure under your tutelage and everyone on that ship, she will become quite the... Well, she will become ruthless. Indeed, as Solomon would like to say. <laughs> I do miss my time on that ship. So I miss you being on board. Well, I cannot be held down anymore. No. Hey. people to save. Yeah. If you ever feel like going on a holiday, you know what ship to contact. Well, I'm afraid with your crew it's more like working overtime. <laughs> Very much so. Things get done. In absurd ways. Well, I will look into it. Is it, is it feasible that I would have sending stones on hand? for communication with clients and stuff? Um, you have more like one like suit up sending stone, which oh. can do sending multiple times, but it's like to like an hub basically. You okay. like contact like the guild oh. and, and you're like, hey, uh, like, you know like how John Wick does the thing where he's like, I need a cleanup crew. Okay. And then someone just sends out a cleanup crew to clean oh. up the other location. Okay. Yeah, you have one of those. Uh, well then instead I'm just going to send a, or Sig Sigmund is going to send a, um, a request to the guild to um, to deliver a sending stone to their ship that directly contacts myself, mm -hmm. um, myself being Sigmund in this case, um, so that uh, if Sigmund is able to come to this uh, realization mm -hmm. and can solve this issue, then he can contact the ship directly. Uh -huh. Um, and to that end, the, like, we'll talk about this later, but like, the standing stone that connects you and Sigmund is de delivered to Rosalind before you even leave the bar. <laughs> You're efficient, baby. Mm-hmm. It was good How to see How they even get on the ship? <laughs> it, well, no, like, they, they walked up and were like, hey. Don't we have security then, measures? What's going on, people? They walked up to the gangplank. They didn't get on the ship. And then yeah. Rosalind was like, hello, yeah. who are you? Yeah. Are you here to cause trouble? <laughs> You hear the menace, yeah. It um, was wonderful to see you, Trey. May I, uh, may I hug you before I go? A hug? What purpose would that serve? <laughs> Mental stability? I think so. I am a doctor, I must abide. <laughs> Very well. Him and Giraffe both hug you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, As the hug comes to a close, the uh, barkeep just knocks on the thing, like, Oi, open up! <sighs> she hands you a mop. Very well. And I'll... Giraffe, you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll, I'll leave and I'm just kind of like, going like this as I go along, just slowly heading back to the ship. Um. 
So what the fuck was that? I went down from the same thing that caused your disease. Cool. <laughs> uh, you get back to the ship. Um, you succeeded the saving throw, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, you get back to the ship and um, as Rosalind says, um, uh, there was someone gave me this and she just handed this stone connected to someone named Salmon Zandi mm-hmm. the fourth? You know what, that's close enough. I'll, and I'll start etching. She doesn't remember Sigmund. <laughs> <laughs> she just starts at etching Salmon. <laughs> Zandi, my friend, and I put the yeah. sending stone in my pocket. Um, and with that, a friendship that started with her head buddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the first uh-huh. I, we always yeah. talk about this like Trey, Olivia, and Trey both hated Sigmund <laughs> so much. Dude, in the car, I'm like, Sigmund is such my comfort character in this whole entire Aww. campaign. I'm Aww. like, I'm so sad. <laughs> That's so sweet. And with that, we will end our session. Yay. And I am pleased to announce that Sigmund levels up to level seven. Yay! <laughs> Go Sigmund! Yeah. Well yeah. Hopefully seven and all this time. Woo! Uh, that <laughs> also... And secondarily, I hate to bait you all, but you also level up to level 10. Boo! Oh, we don't what? want the that's... level! Yeah, we do. We do want that's that. Really that is good. Wow, 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 wow. Ooh, that's, wow. That's exciting. That's... I got a big decision to make for that then. I know you do. Uh, yeah, I got many things I can do. Um, um, time to multi-class into Paladin. Hi, my oh, name yeah. is Olivia. I'm giving the, the, the game are. recommendation this week. Yes, what um, is it? If you feel like D&D or many of the other core TTRPGs are quite scary to start off with, I suggest playing Fiasco, which Ooh. is like this really fun introductory way to get into tabletop role-playing games. You sit around with like a group of friends, you create a relationship with the person to your left and to your right, and then you kind of just act out a story with everyone else. Um, cool. It's really a lot of fun. And yeah, I cannot recommend it enough. Nice, I haven't heard of that. It's real good. Good stuff. Well, thank you for joining us once again. Uh, this was episode 57. Um, if you want to follow us on social media, we are Dice Dice Rev D and D. It's on the side of the screen on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr. So uh, please make sure to go there. And also, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Twitch so that you know when the streams are actually happening. Um, and yeah, that's it. So we will see you next time. Goodbye. Bye.